gentlemen, let's hear it for the home team, your Nashua North Titans. Nashua North is coached by Chad Zabolas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we would ask you to all please stand for a moment of silence for three members of our athletic community who have passed since last football season. I direct your attention to the video board. Glenn Willette was a member of the Nashua School District teaching faculty and a longtime ticket seller here at football games. Paul Wessinger was a former Nashua police officer, longtime coach and official in the district, staff member at Nashua South, and former football clock operator for many years. And finally, Billy Munson was a graduate of Nashua High School North, a longtime teacher and coach at Nashua South and the only player to score varsity touchdowns for Nashua Senior High School and Nashua High School North. Thank you. And now we would like you to all please continue to stand if you are able and remove your hats as members of the Nashua North Chorus will be singing the national anthem under the direction of Brianne Bajstoff. everybody and welcome to Stellos Stadium in Nashua. We are minutes away from the 2023 New Hampshire High School football season opener as Nashua High North gets set to host the Merrimack Tomahawks here at Stellos. Hello, I'm John Collins along with Tom King. We've got the A-team, everybody here, to do our version of Friday Night Football along with three games, a total of three games that are going on on the Nashua cable channels locally. Uh, this one's on channel 22, the new education channel number. Tom, uh, as, as with every new season, new faces, new combinations, and uh, for me, no idea how just how good any team is going to be. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, we don't have an idea. You know, we're just going to have to see how they play. I had no idea last year how good North would be. Uh, last year, and they had a lot of players back, but they had a new coach, new system, everything else. This year, the coach and the system are the same, new players plugged in. So we'll see how that works. North is going to have, I believe Gavin Flynn should be the starting quarterback, but I'm not absolutely positive. All right. Um, I also think that uh, Steven Rosario and, and it, it, you know, is going to get a, a lot of the carries along with Darius Smith. So it may be a ground and pound type Nashua North team this year, John. And last year they could run Derek Finley a lot and then have him throw a little bit. This year I think the running backs are going to do more of the carries. Merrimack, watch out for Garen Brown. He is the most experienced player back, I think, for them in terms of skill positions, and he was a very good player a year ago. And all, I believe he was a conference all-star, and I think that he'll be just as good this year. In, in fact, if not, better. So watch out for him. I believe he's number 22 on that Merrimack roster. So 
So let's, uh, you know, should be, silence, should be fun. No, we did that already. I oh, think sorry. The, yep. We did the national anthem. We did the moment of silence. Now we got the coin toss. The coin midfield. toss, John Collins. But I got to get down on the field because they're just about ready to start. I'll take my pictures and I'll be back up here hopefully by the end of the first Oh, hurry first back, quarter. Tom. Look forward to it. Look forward to a great game here at Nashua High North's home field tonight. It'll be Stellos. It is football season for high school, for college, if you watched last night, some great games. That Nebraska-Minnesota game certainly came right down to the final kick. And uh, who knows, this game might do so as well. North 9-0 and last season. They were only beaten in the playoffs by Bedford in the first quarterfinal round. And uh, so that was ended up being a disappointment for a North team that had some high hopes. I mean, why not after running the table at 9-0? and and uh, hoping to piggyback on that success here are the Titans. As they uh, have some of those um, Penn State helmet vibes, you know, the, the, the dark colors with the white, but uh, everything looks dark and white from the sun glaring press box up here <laughs> tonight. It's always a kind of a difficult time of year when the sun goes down over the trees along the Nashua River and we have uh, Kind of to squint through. The players certainly aren't bothered by it. It's nice solid shadows down there, and everything is uh, uniform as far as vision. Uh, their looks are fine. There is a, a change in the concessions here. If you happen to be coming to a football game here at Stello's tonight, Denali's uh, food service trucks are outside. The concession window's not working as usual, but the Denali's food truck certainly has delicious assortment of sausages and uh, uh, burgers everything that you would expect to get at a sporting event and highly delicious at that from Donali's. So uh, our PA announcer once again, our friend Jason Roby at the mic. You'll hear him in the background quite a lot, bringing the enthusiasm and uh, tons of uh, great camera people here tonight as well with Tim O'Neill, Dylan Smith, Bruce Hillsmeyer's on audio and our executive producer Pete Johnson here as well. You might have seen the graphics leading in from Dan Young. So uh, we'll see how the replay machine goes. Yours truly at the controls of that one. So we're teeing up the kickoff, and it'll be North kicking off from left to right, as you can see, to the Tomahawks, who are in white. They drop it right away. The ball's picked up and run back to the 10-yard line, and that's it. It looked like for the Titans, Jedwin Luveris got in there and made the tackle on the ball carrier, Actually, they're going to give credit to uh, Josiah Corfield with the tackle. The senior special teams player and linebacker and running back got to the ball carrier after the momentary bobble. So the Tomahawks starting out first and 10 at their own 10-yard line, trying to come out of the deep right part of the field and with their opening drive of the season. And, and it is a handoff up the middle. Number eight is Garen Brown, as Tom calls him, a multi-purpose player who will probably get most of the touches tonight for the Tomahawks as he gains only one on the play, and it'll be second down and nine. Ball on about the 11-yard line on the far hash. Merrimack looking to the sidelines. You can see the personnel for Merrimack. Not a ton of players uh, in reserve on the sideline. They're pretty much huddled together in a small space on the far side. North appears to have more sheer personnel. Quarterback wriggles free through the pocket and makes a gain out of it of about five yards before he's knocked down at the 16-yard line. So making his way through a crowd was Sahil Mujawar, the quarterback for Merrimack, number four at the controls, has a big third down and about five to go from the 16-yard line. The marker to get to is marked about the 21 of the Tomahawks in their opening drive of the 2023 season. A one-step drop, the ball's thrown to the right, and it is incomplete. It was intended for Aiden Centrella, and it is incomplete, so it is a three and out for the Tomahawks on their opening possession of the 2023 season. The Titans' defense looking tough in the early going. Good special teams play as well, pinning the 
Tomahawks deep. They kick it from their own goal line, and they get a great bounce. This thing's going to end up at the 29-yard line of the Titans, first and 10. So not bad for a team that was pinned in their own end to get a punt like that. Uh, a, a clutch play for Merrimack. Uh, Bill, who's the punter on that? What number? Thank you. So Sahil Mushuar, the quarterback, doubling as the punter. Certainly uh, his best play of the sequence. They're on fourth down to punt the ball. He was. It, it's not going to get the net of, of 70 yards, but that's what it amounted to. He put the foot to the ball at the goal line and ends up on the uh, north 29-yard line where they start first and 10. Quick hitter pass to the left by Gavin Flynn. It is complete, and a gain of about four on the play. Second down and six for the Titans. Their opening possession of the 2023 season. Gavin Flynn, the senior quarterback, calling the play. He'll hand it off. A round end avoids the first tackler. John Barry Jr. is wrapped up right about the line of scrimmage. He might have gained a yard. So they're going to spot it just inside the 35-yard line. They need to get to the 39. It's going to be third and about five. Long four near hash. Will the Titans throw the ball on third down as the Tomahawks were forced to do? They threw it on first down, ran it on second. It's a one-step drop. It's complete for the first down. And finding just a, enough space was Adrian Lazo, the flanker to the right, the senior, sure-handed on the nice pass from Flynn. So Flynn two for two on the short passes. He gets the game's first down. First, first down, I should say. Fakes the handoff, throws to the left. It is complete to Luke Peters. Peters hit behind the line of scrimmage. Might have lost a yard, and he did. So negative yardage on the play, thanks to the swarming Merrimack Tomahawks defense. A good job by the Tomahawks flocking to the, to the receiver before Peters could really find anywhere to run or get to the sideline. It's going to be second down and 11. Three complete passes so far for Flynn, but nothing really straight down the field yet. He's going to hand it off, and it is John Barry Jr. who's going to get a gain of about four. It's spotted exactly at midfield at the 50. They need to get to the Merrimack 43, so it's going to be third down and seven for Merrimack. An assortment of plays from the playbook here. Fresh start, 2023 season. Start of a difficult schedule, to say the least, for the Tomahawks. Took a glance at it. And sprinting to his left, under pressure, trying to complete the pass. If he can throw it, no, he's going to tuck it under his arm and go out of bounds. And not much of a gain on the play for Flynn on third down. So it's a decision time. We do have a flag. Of course, that's going to uh, impact the decision. And we have against the defense. And that's going to be a big, probably a first down for the for the Titans. He crossed his arms like this. Uh, Jason, the football coach, might know what that is. I'm not sure. Personal foul. Okay, it was a personal foul. I guess I thought he crossed his arms. He just chopped at it. And uh, undeclared first. Might have been uh, just a late hit out of bounds as the ball went out of bounds. And... Uh, Quarterback wasn't trying to make any extra yards out of it. Hit at uh, behind the line of scrimmage and dropped. That Merrimack front line has been tough early. And getting up off the bottom of the pile, number 34 for the Tomahawks is Jack Thornton. Thornton thumping his way through and bringing the ball carrier down for a loss of one on the play. So it's going to be second down and 11. 
Tomahawks fake the handoff. Flynn hit as he throws it. It is complete at the 30-yard line. A gain of about eight on the play, seven maybe. It's going to be third down. And what happened there? Was it incomplete? The uh, down markers being moved back. Thought it was a complete pass, but apparently it was not. And a illegal man downfield against the Titans is going to call it back anyway. Ineligible. Drifting downfield from the line of scrimmage before that pass by Flynn. And so a big completion turns into a a bigger loss of yards. So it's going to remain. Is it a loss of down? I think that was a second down play, and uh, they're going to change it. A little confusion about what down it is on the sideline, I think. They have it as fourth down. Going to the right side and throwing is Flynn. Dart complete. Barry inside the 25, and he makes the first down. What a clutch play on long yardage by the Titans. As he gets it across the yard, the line to gain. Eyes downfield looking for an open man. There's the dart, not wide open, but certainly thrown only where he could catch it, and a twisting move at the end there by John Barry Jr. is what picked up the Titans' first down. Well done by the Titans' offense to keep this drive alive. The handoff, and up the right seam, one man to beat, Brent down after a first down carry inside the 10-yard line. A gain of about 15 on the play for Amante. Terrific play for Amante. And so it's going to be first and goal to go. The run over the right side. Got a gain of a few for four brought down. Numbers 10 and 34 in on the tackle. That's Joshua Ozog and uh, Thornton again. Jack Thornton for Merrimack to bring down the ball carrier at the eight yard line. So second and goal from the eight. North threatening to score the game's first points here. Just under six minutes to go in the first quarter. Flynn is going to hand it off. Dancing around the initial tacklers. Can't get away though. And tackled at the uh, behind the line of scrimmage by about a half a yard was Luke Peters. So good swarming defense, good penetration by the Tomahawks front line. And it's going to bring up a, a difficult third and eight here for the Titans trying to convert this drive into the season's first touchdown. Fire hash mark, Flynn back in the shotgun. He's got... The uh, Stephen Rosario front. There's the block, and he is just short of the goal line. So close to a score. A whistle official timeout down on the field for the moment. I'm not sure what this is. They're pointing back toward the Nashua way, the Nashua sideline. This could be, it is a flag. A flag was down there at the five yard line. What that had to do with the blocking. We'll find out from the official, the referee. Unsportsmanlike conduct against both teams. Offsetting. And we will play fourth down. They have the ball spotted. That was a third down play that brought it down to the half yard line. And so offsetting penalties, I believe that the Titans are going for the touchdown here on fourth down. They will not kick it. They're going to try to ram it in for the season's first score on fourth and goal to go from inside the one. Flynn calling the signals from the shotgun. It's going to hand it off, hit in the backfield and dropped, and Merrimack has stopped the Titans short of the goal line. The game remains scoreless. 
Huge defensive play by the Tomahawks. There was just nothing there, as you can see on the handoff here. As soon as the handoff happened, Jack Thornton leading the charge, number 34, through the, the center of the pile, and he downed Darius Smith for no less than no gain behind the line of scrimmage. It is going to be, uh, well, right at the one, first and ten for the Tomahawks. Again, backed up in their own end. They started the game first and ten from the ten, and now they're at first and ten from the one, but they'll take it after the goal line stand. The keeper just unable to get out. That is, let's see the indication. They have him at the two-inch line. They, they have him. The ball broke the plane, apparently, and they're going to mark it as not a safety, but as close to a safety as you could get and not have one called. We're going to wait on the replay to uh, show you what happens here on second down. And 10 yards in about two feet to go. Dropping back to pass in a crowd, sacked, and now you got a safety for the Titans. There was absolutely nowhere for Sahil Mujawar to go, and it is a two to nothing North lead on the safety, as you'll see it here. Tremendous pressure on the Merrimack quarterback from all sides. It just collapsed on him, and uh, first player to get his hands on him, well, there was a couple actually, but I see the back of... Uh, Tyler Madera, who was in on the sack, he gets a half a sack, and so does his teammate that was to the left of him. But just tremendous defensive pressure by the pass rushers of the Titans as they could smell points. And it's, so maybe that's an omen of how this North team will go this season when their defense scores the first points of the 2023 season. So an exciting sequence there, kind of a, a checkmate situation where the Titans had the Tomahawks in a corner from the beginning of the game, the kickoff inside the 10. And even though they didn't get the touchdown on fourth and one, they did seal them up deep in their own end. And Tomahawks just didn't have the play in their playbook to get out of there. So the Tomahawks, as it happens after a safety, uh, must kick it. And they have to kick it from their own 20, which is different, as you can see. It gives an added advantage to the team that scored the safety, that they not only get two points, but they get the ball in even better field position as a result of the kickoff from the 20. Firing a flub on the return. They're already at midfield to the right and across it. Good return by John Barry Jr. into Merrimack territory. So following the safety, fantastic field position for the Titans with 3.45 to go in the first quarter. North will try again to get the game's first touchdown. One of three games that are going on on Nashua ETV stations. This one is Channel 22. We got BG at Bedford at 7 o'clock on Channel 6. And South taking on Goffstown on Channel 16. Also a 7 o'clock start. Swarming to the ball and taking the ball carrier down with not much of a gain. The Merrimack defense has been terrific so far. Not only the goal line stand, but stopping the Titans on first and second down consistently, forcing them to come up with big third down plays. There's, again, no gain on first down for North. They had, had some success, Gavin Flynn has, the quarterback, in throwing the ball, not too much in running the ball at all. So Flynn, back in the shotgun, has Steven Rosario standing next to him. That ball is blocked up in the air, and fortunately for the Titans, it falls to the turf, not caught by the defensive line of the Tomahawks who were coming for Flynn there. No question in their mind that the North quarterback was going to throw that. He's rolled out to his left a few times and it's about three Tomahawks waiting for him on that play to bat the ball up in the air. So we'll do third down and 10. 
Ball at the 49-yard line of the Tomahawks. Does North have a pass play in the book to come up big here on third down? It's underthrown a little bit, but it's received and stopped about one and a half yards short of the first down. It was a reception to Adrian Lazo as he went to the turf. Nice hands there by Adrian. And North might be going for it here. It's kind of close to punt it. Way too far to kick a field goal. So it's in that part of the field where they might try to pick up a couple and keep the drive alive here, and they will. Looks like an offensive set. Gavin Flynn in the shotgun. Talking now to Darius Smith, his eye back standing behind him. Does he get the pitch? He gets the handoff. Darius Smith. Rumbling forward is stopped about a half yard short of the line to gain. Let's see the marker. No, wait, wait. It might be a generous spot here. It is uh, the 39 they needed to get to. No, they're not going to get it. It's just beyond the 40. And it is going to be a Merrimack ball on downs. Again, the Tomahawks with a tough stand preventing North from getting one or two tough yards. Great penetration by the left side of the defense that time for the Tomahawks. So it's still a 2 to nothing game, 2-10 to go in the contest. Battle of defenses right now to begin the season here at Stellos. The opening quarter, welcome to September. Looking at the forecast, it looks like the summer is about to arrive three months late. <laughs> the temperatures is up in the upper 80s and the 90s in the offing over the next four or five days. Lots of sunshine and hot temperatures. Tonight, today, very pleasant day in the low 70s here in Greater Nashua. The handoff is up the middle and not much there. The brunt of the North defense awaiting the ball carrier. Slow to get up number eight for the number eight for the uh, Tomahawks was Garen Brown. The multi-purpose back, their version of McCaffrey that uh, they expect to get most of the touches tonight for the Tomahawks, number eight. As he stands right there, you see next to the quarterback, Sahil Mujawar, number four. He's been mixing the pass and the run to no successful effect so far in this one. What well, defense has been really good. A muffed handoff there. They barely got it away, but it ends up being a loss on the play. Looked like Mujawar might have wanted to pull that back, but the ball, the handoff was completed, and a tackle made way behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down and 12 for Merrimack. So Mujawar did complete a pass earlier. Let's see he's able to do it again. Short pass. Straight drop, looking to his right, under pressure immediately. Rolls, throws deep down the sideline. One-on-one -on -one battle, falls to the turf incomplete. Good non-call. Pass was intended for number 11, Connor Dunn. And it looked like number three broke it up. Darius Sisse for Sisse, the uh, budding freshman quarterback. Plays cornerback. He's play number three, a freshman out there in the starting lineup. Playing cornerback one-on-one -on -one with Merrimack's best receiver. And he wins the battle as the ball falls harmlessly to the turf. So on fourth down, the Tomahawks will punt it. The punt was bobbled, the whistle went, and the flag is down before the kick. It is going to be against... What happened there? Delay a game? First down for... The, the, ball, the punter was down on that bobble, folks. He was down before he could punt it away. They ruled it a, a tackle, basically. He put himself down right there at the 19-yard line. So a gaff, a flub by Merrimack punter, Sahil Mujawar, and a gift 
A quarterback keeper dragged down. Is that a horse collar or not? Some chippiness down on the field now. I think that uh, I think that Flynn thought it was a horse collar, but no call is made, and it is a a grab of the jersey. The indication by the side official as it's being questioned by Chad Zabolas and his coaching staff. They thought it was an illegal tackle. It was not in the eyes of the official. Five seconds, the clock is rolling. They probably will not get this play off. That is the end of the first quarter. A two to nothing lead. Who had two to nothing in the uh, lottery boxes? You are the winner. If you thought two to nothing then in the first quarter, the Titans in the lead over the Tomahawks here at Stello Stadium as the sun makes its way down over the Nashua River. No longer a glare problem up here in the booth. John Collins along with Tom King and our A-team. Pete Johnson, executive producer here as well, along with Bruce Hillsmeyer on sound, Tim O'Neill and Dylan Smith on cameras. Looking forward to an exciting second quarter and rest of the game. These two teams appear to be fairly evenly matched. Still early, maybe too early to gauge that, but the defense is certainly making their presences known here as they have both shown flashes of brilliance. Of course, Merrimack's defense stopping north on the one-yard line, shy of a touchdown. And then... North's defense answered back by coming up with a safety, a tackle in the end zone on quarterback Sahil Mujawar as he tried to pass on second down and just got swallowed up by about four Navy jerseys in the end zone. So it'll be second and seven as uh, make it second and eight as the Titans try to keep this drive alive against a tough Merrimack defense after the, flub punt gave the after the flub punt gave the Titans their best field possession of the game so far field positioning it inside the 20 the handoff is to Luke Peters Peters not much room to run over there lost a yard it's going to be second down in nine again the Titans just getting penetration they seem to know where the Titans are heading even before the handoff is made and beating them to the spot. No turning the corner, no sideline yardage on the ground. Just a terrific run defense by both defenses so far for the Titans and the Tomahawks. So on third down and long, Flynn's gonna sprint to his left, looking to pass, he's got a man in his face and he pulls him down. Tremendous defensive play by Grady Riley and it is a huge loss. It'll be fourth down and eons here for the Titans. Flag is down on the play. Did he grab a face mask on the tackle? Let's see. Certainly, the tackler, uh, Grady Riley, had to slip his way around the blocker and try to get to the quarterback, and it was kind of an awkward tackle. A face mask is called against the Tomahawks, negating that tremendous sack in a big way. That's going to be a first down for the Titans. So how about that reversal? Certainly uh, for if it was Grady Riley on the tackle, and I, I think it was on the, the face mask on the tackle, it wasn't worth it. He could have just maybe tugged it at, at um, the quarterback, Gavin Flynn's jersey, and waited for reinforcements to bring him down. But it's only going to be a five-yard face mask? Wow, not a first down. So third down and four. They're going to make the Titans earn it. Not like the NFL rule there on the face mask. It's a fake and a wide open. Completion for a touchdown. What a play. Ball was on the 18-yard line. It is an 18-yard touchdown pass from Gavin Flynn to Jevon Ants. And he was wide open. That was uh, Aiden Lazo in the corner. Watch Aiden Lazo at the bottom of the screen. Flynn is going to fake the handoff, and that froze the cornerback and left Lazo wide open. Still made a nice reaching fingertip grab as he tumbled to the turf in the end zone for the game's first six points. What happened on that? It was called incomplete? Oh, incomplete pass. Oh, incomplete pass. Was it incomplete on the replay? And a, a swing pass to the left and down behind the, the line to gain. 
On the replay, it looked like he caught it. So I apologize. It was not a touchdown pass. Uh, opportunity missed there for the Titans. Lazo was wide open on the pass. Can we, can we watch it again? The uh, the replay again? Yeah, what a, this is it, right? Oh, it was on the ground. It was underneath him. He was looking at his hands, and then it was ball was actually underneath the receiver. So incomplete pass to Lazo. The Tomahawk starting first and ten, and a flag goes down before they can even snap it. Eleven minutes to go in the first half. It is a two to nothing deficit for the Tomahawks, and their field position just keeps getting worse and worse. They have started on the ten, on the one. Now after this penalty, they're going to be first and fifteen from their own eleven. So it's just a uh, uphill battle for this Merrimack offense against a very good to great. Titans defense in the early going. Mujuar with a straight drop, two steps, immediate pressure, and he's hit. Ran into the back of his offensive tackle. And that is a sack for the Merrimack defense once again. Watch this. Melvin Fernandez getting in there. It was uh, number five flushing him out for the Titans. Jack Krulikowski as well on the chase. Terrific pressure by the Titans, and Mujua really didn't even have a moment to look downfield to locate a receiver. He was running for his life from receiving the shotgun snap. Receiver in motion, fakes the handoff, gets swallowed up at the one. Forward progress will keep him out of the end zone, but they're going in the wrong direction are the Merrimack offense. Immediate pressure with the three-man front for the Titans. They did get sack, uh, linebacker blitz, and just Mujuar never got started at all. It's going to be a punt from his own end zone here. Uh, actually, he might kick here on third down. I mean, that's uh, an option to do a quick kick. It is a long way to go. They are on the two. They need to get to the 25. That's a deep bomb down the right side. A chance. Overthrows the receiver who had a step. That was Logan Day on the fly pattern sideline. And he was covered by Aiden Adrian Lazo. So that would have taken all kinds of perfection to complete that one. Even though Day had a step some daylight wasn't able to teardrop it in so it's going to be fourth down in a punt as uh, they will be standing at the back of the end zone here to kick this one away and the punt is blocked it goes out of bounds yeah the punter for the punter for the uh, Tomahawks is Matthew Schmidt, number nine. And Schmidt didn't really waste any time when he got that two safeties. When is the last time? I'm going to ask you. You watch more football, Jason. That is unusual, folks. When people when people see that on the ticker, so to speak, four to nothing, they're going to go, is that right? Is that a typo? That is not a score you see at all very often in the di in the single digits four to nothing very rare it is a baseball score it is the most unusual score in the single digits of course you can't get a one you can get a two a three on a field goal field goal and a safety is a five but four very unusual and the titans have done it two safeties to begin the season and uh, again, the Titans are going to have to kick it off from the. Matthew Schmidt, the kicker. 
Matthew Schmidt, the kicker, is going to boot this one away from his 20. The Titans managed to run this back to midfield the last time after a safety. Let's see what they do here. And they don't do quite as well, but still great field position. Tackle made by Joshua Ozog and also uh, 53, uh, not listed, but it's good, pretty good Merrimack special teams coverage to at least keep the Titans from getting to midfield this time, but still great spot at their own 45-yard line to try to get their first offensive score of the game. They got two defensive scores, hence four to nothing on a couple of safeties to start the season. Just missed that touchdown pass to Adrian Lazo. He was wide open in that last uh, possession, but let's see if they can complete the deal here. Good first down carry. Hard yardage for five yards. Darius Smith, number 34. Or Steven Rosario, number 34, rather, with the carry. And the handoff near side. Rosario being tugged down, trying to get that first down yardage, which would be the 45-yard line. And he is dragged down. Inches short of the first down marker. It'll be third down. And uh, I want to say like three inches to go. I mean, it's really that close. Do they want to measure this? Well, John Collins. Time out on the field. In the Telegraph football preview to Rand that was in the inserted last weekend, the cover feature was on special teams. Nice. Yeah. So we've already had a couple mistakes tonight. The down punt. That down punt. And the block. So uh, who the blocked question it? I didn't see who blocked it. Oh, I didn't either. We yep. uh, we have it on replay though, don't we? I think that's all right. right. But yeah, Matt Schmidt, the punter, really didn't waste any time, Tom. They got on him. Hey, there was I, no blocking. You no, know, and I just I didn't like. He didn't seem too comfortable back there. Of course, he's right up against the end zone. Right, right. Line. And, and I thought that what they would try to do is kind of have him sidestep, kind of run, punt on the run. That would have been good coaching. That's, that's Coach been, King again. Yeah, but that's but that's what he would have to yep. do to but get I that But I called. Up. I called it. I was down there at Dante Laurentiis, and I said, "This punt's going to get blocked. You watch." And then it was. And then it was. And, and then the he question goes, is, he goes, "No, no, it's not." He said, "I think he's going to get it out." I go, huh? "Nobody and, I know has watched more football games in person than Tom King." Four just, nothing. Four nothing. The, ever? The, no, no. No. That's what we were saying down there. We've never seen a four nothing game. Four nothing game. That's the hardest single digit to get. Of course, you yep. can't get one, but exactly. four is right. you just don't see yep. it. The other teams are going to look at that score, the out of town scoreboard, and say, "Is that a typo?" Yeah, exactly. So the handoff up the middle to Rosario, and he gets the first down. He falls across the 45, and that will move the chains. Tackle made by Riley Grady. Uh, Riley Grady, who had that great sack, and he face-masked the quarterback, and it negated the defensive plays, you remember. And there have been a lot of mistakes out there. It's early in the game, so yeah. both teams are First making them. game of the season. Yeah, and it shows. Fakes the handoff, yeah. swings the pass, slips the tackle, and makes a nice gain on first down, does Luke Peters. But what you see... Uh, the pass from Flynn. ...is there aren't... A lot of guys, skill-wise, that are escape artists. Oh, you uh, notice Peter's hobbling as he comes yeah, off. Yeah, he looked like he was hurt uh -oh. when he went down. That's a key player yeah, for the it Titans. Is, it he is, is holding that right leg as he stumbles to the to the bench area. Looks like he might have done a th oh, it might be a cramp. Oh, hopefully it That's is. That's a cramp, probably. Cramps that looks, sure looks like coming one. Coming back from. Sure yeah, looks like one. It does. Yep. You're right. Yeah. Get that. Rub that out. And get number six. All right, got you, Pete. Thank you. Fakes the handoff, throws it deep down the sideline, and it's overthrown That's to Adrian Lazo. Lazo, you were down there wide open in the end zone. Yeah, just dropped it at the last second. He did. Dropped it. But it was a little overthrown. He was wide open. Right, but that's, you know. Early that's season what, jitters. Well, early season, you know, lack of experience. That's what it is. But there's no escape artists in this game. You notice that? Yes. There's no game skill, breakers. There's no game breakers. There's no, right. and I call them escape artists because that's what they, you know. That's yeah. what they need to do. Game changers. But I'll tell you what, what North got to get away from trying to do is they don't want to run at Merrimack's you know, Zachariah uh, Rizawi. 
And I'm probably saying it wrong. Screen pass to Rosario. He has got the first down. He's out of bounds. So I'm talking about the big guy. That's a great play. The big guy, number 70, who I did not see out there on this play. There he is. No, he's right there. Here's the replay of that, Tom, yeah, right here. Yeah, watch it right here. All right. Set up very well and a lot of time to throw it, too, before the defense got there and, you know, on the edge. You know, Merrimack was not ready for it. Beautifully executed by the Titans. Screen pass to the left for first down yardage. So first and 10. Faking the handoff. Flynn sprint to his right, completes it to John Barry Jr. Jr., though, is tackled two yards short of the line of scrimmage. Again, great swarming defense by the uh, Tomahawks. They're making it very difficult to get uh, any kind of yardage on first down. Yeah, they are. Often. But that's one of the reasons yeah. why is because number 70 for Merrimack, he takes up a lot of space. Yes. Terrific play there on the uh, on the wing coming off his receiver. Seven minutes to go first half. Seven minutes to go first half. We've got two scores. They're both safeties. Yep. It's four to nothing. The Titans struggle right now. Trying to come up with the first offensive score. A long time developing and nowhere to go really for Darius to say. No, that's uh, Jonathan Torres, who is down at about the 25 yeah, yard he line. He made some good yards. Yeah, he actually at the he, end, right? Yeah, he wriggled his way yep. forward. Flag flies and way here late. Here we go. There's been John all night. That's probably a, some kind of verbiage, huh? That got uh, called on been, They've been like. drawn all night, late hits here, late hits there. It's been, you know, it, it, it not really, the only ones who can hear it are the refs. Yeah, the refs, right there. and maybe it was directed at because the Because I was down there and couldn't hear it, but yeah. you see, but I did hear one of the Merrimack kids tell another team, hey, look, if they say something to you, just shut up, don't say anything. No so reason to answer. see who this is against. That was emphatic flag there personal foul against the national Titans. north that's a tough play that is and wait a minute oh, a personal offset, foul offset. against merrimack yeah, on the offset yeah. so. and you know what somebody probably didn't follow your that advice tom don't answer back well because, that was not mine it was the advice of the player all right you know, so telling because team, uh, somebody another whoever got the first flag is lucky that the other team got the second flag and uh in the sequence that they just told us about it probably was merrimack they got the personal foul second in that sequence. So nothing comes of it. It's third down and seven. Straight drop. Flynn flings it. Almost picked, and nobody was in front of him. John Number 21, John, that was Logan almost, Day. Almost picked twice. It was okay. near the line. Because the first one who yep. had the shot at it was number 44, Riley Grady. Oh, they, you have the power now? I do, to, I think. To, Let me to see if I got it. Like, right. It goes All right, twice. so watch this. 44. Almost there. Almost, Almost there. there. Yep. 44 was... And, uh, and then 21. Uh, Grady, uh, Riley Grady. Yeah, that's and what I said. And then Logan Day and nothing but daylight for right. Day down the sideline. Oh, yeah, and it was a pick six. You know what? If, if the first guy doesn't tip it, it's probably an easy, easier pick for Logan Day. Yep. But it's fourth down. They're going to go for it because of the place on the field. They swing the pass out and slips it. He's down the sideline and in. into the end zone for a touchdown. Had to wait for the signal. What a play. And he, when he beat the first defender, Tom, John Barry Jr. with the first score of the season, it's a 10 to nothing right, lead. But look at there's no one out there. No one. Well, we don't have it. Oh, what happened yeah, there? I don't know. But we didn't have the replay. Oh, Pete, I thought he... Uh... Pete, you're creating a monster here. <laughs> yep. It, w it started the replay and then it went to the band. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. There's the end of it. Yeah, I want to see the beginning of it, though, when you see that there's no one out there. Now, he slips a tackle. Yeah. They should have just nudged him out of bounds. Oh, it caught it. What you said, he was right. going out there. It caught that part of it. Yeah, they, nobody but they, was needed, really they needed to nudge him out. They needed yeah. to push him out. They had room there to push him right out. Going for going two. Going for two. And again, that is, oh, his flag's going to fly gonna as fly. Uh, right backing right. his way over the line was John Barry yeah, Jr. But could, on, that, on that type of play where the flag is thrown, probably a hold. 
On North. Oh, the touchdown again. On and North. going to show what Tom talked about this. Nobody really staying with the receiver well enough anyway. Yeah, it's a hold on North on the, on the point after. Yeah, that was. So, uh, the, the assignment was for Max Naughton to cover him, and he just couldn't get there. Yeah, but there were chances to, once he caught the ball, to push him out of bounds, yeah. and no one did. They tried to tackle him instead. That's a big mistake. They basically had a defensive end assigned to cover the receiver there, and John Barry Jr. easily. Uh, caught it and went around it. So yep. it is a 10 nothing lead as the conversion attempt fails. So he had two safeties. <laughs> People who look at that score and say, 10 nothing. that happens every game. Oh, he must have kicked the field goal, special teams. <laughs> <laughs> yes, special teams, sir. sure. So a, a, a nice first half overall. I mean, the, uh, the Merrimack field position has been horrendous. That's a bit a big story. Well, that's, it is horrendous. It has been brutal, you yeah. know, but their defense has done the job until that play to keep them out of the end zone and keep them going anywhere. North's had the ball down all the time, but, nice. but the the defense has done the job. For the the offense has gone backwards. That's just it. There is, you know, yeah. Brown, as I told you, is the guy that they want to get the ball to. But, right, Gary Brown's you know, getting you, the touches. You got, it, you got an inexperienced quarterback. I watched him in practice. He likes to run the ball. He's got some speed. And they're trying to let him run the ball, but North has done a good job defensively, John, on getting in that backfield of Merrimack and just over, you know, the defensive line for North and their linebackers are beating the people up front for the Tomahawks. There's a whistle just as Darius Smith puts a boot to somebody the ball. Left, I bet somebody left earlier or somebody, somebody jumped time. the kick. Yeah, I think you're right. And, and, and the official jumped. on the so far side yeah, was right yeah, but in front I never of saw offside flag. against the Titans. No, they, they did, I didn't see a yellow flag down on the field. Yeah, it's down at the zero of the 40 across the way. Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah, yep. the sideline okay. official uh, right. po pointing it out. It but you know, right this of, is this is where you're going to make the most mistakes in a football game is on special teams this yeah. early in the season. So we will see how so we will see how uh, disciplined they stay on this one, but that's going to cost them five and a re-kick. A re-kick, and it's going to give Merrimack good field position for the first time in this game. It should. Yeah. The worst field position that the Titans have had is first and ten at their own 29. So uh, they've been gifted with that. Or the deep, born of the defense's stops, but still, here comes. Another kick at the ball from Darius Smith of the Titans with 6.19 to go first half. Titans special teams and defense trying to pitch a shutout here in the first 24 minutes of the game. Next week, Merrimack hosts Keene. North goes to play Exeter. Live ball live and Merrimack ball. barely gotta, jumps on it. You've got to understand it's a live ball. And you got to understand you can't put your knee down with nobody around you. And Merrimack's made two special teams mistakes. They should be way up. I don't up. want You take it. You take it. They should be way up. And, wow, it was kept rolling back closer to the cover team. That was almost another disaster for the Tomahawks. So it's going to be first and ten for Merrimack. And believe it or not, this is their best field position of the first half at their own 22. 6-18 to play in a half. So what? Can they come up with here to beat this tough North defense? And it's going to be a keeper, Mujawar, to the left, maybe two yards. He's yeah, out of bounds. I mean, he's a running quarterback. I mean, he's, we saw him. You know, he can throw the ball a little bit, but he, he's got he's got some speed to yeah. him, and they'd love to break him and get him, you know, get him out there. But there's no one elusive on either side. No, no one. No one's got. Uh, no, nope. catch the speed. ball and block for him. And that's the only way. No one's going to get that separation. Second and eight for Merrimack. Two receivers split either side. Mujawar one step drop, fires incomplete. Yeah, I, I have to add up the numbers, John, but I would. I, Coverage I, I, there I, by Jonathan Torres. He I, was blanketing the receiver. I would dare say that Merrimack may be in negative yardage for the, uh, for the half. Negative yardage for the half. You'll have to check the numbers. I yeah. wouldn't doubt it. They're certainly in negative points. They've yeah. given up four. Kip Jackson, Kip Jackson <laughs> They're minus be. four in the scoring category. We know that. Not, yeah, Kip Jackson will not be happy about this. Oh, no. Kip Jackson, the uh, nine-year, you think, uh, well, he slings overthrown. It. You see that? That was, that, was, that was a sling pass. I mean, yeah. he just, if, you, if he threw that into the receiver's body, Tom, uh, that could have been a completed pass. Uh, he was he was on the in, he had the inside position on this. 
Yeah, you know, watch. He did, but he overthrew. Yeah, it'll just yeah. Because why did he overthrow? Pressure. Exactly. He had to rush that pass, and that's yeah. why he threw it sidearm and yeah. you know. And there's awkward. been some consistent pressure by yeah. this North. I mean, it's but, almost like there's no blockers there, even with a three-man front. It's a linebacker blitzing. They're just getting right through. Well, look at Matt this. Schmidt punts it straight almost. up in the air because he had to. It was almost blocked again, and it bounces back. It's a good Titans bounce. And uh, fielded there at the 30, at the, look at this field position, first and 10 from the Merrimack 40. Yeah, but you know what, John? They've been, they've had other good field they, position. And all half long. They could be up 21. Credit to the Merrimack defense. I think the Merrimack defense has, has done a good job of keeping North at bay a little bit. Yeah, no conversion. Right? The Merrimack defense give up six points despite being in their own end for the entire yeah, game. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Gavin Flynn calling the signals. First and 10 from the 40-yard line. John Barry Jr. met about a yard beyond the line of scrimmage and has scored to his right I forward saw progress. Some laundry on the field. I think they oh, did. Yep. A lot of penalties. Yeah, in this a lot first of, well, half. you expect it. The referees are looking for stuff, John, because it's the opening night. They know that there's going to be a lot of mistakes made. Yep. We're on Merrimack TV tonight as well. Uh, no doubt about it. Now, I mean, Friday night football everywhere. This is this is a Merrimack team where you know they've had players go and grad. You know they've lost lineups to graduation, things like that. But this is a heavier loss than, than what I remember. Anything I can remember for them. Penalty against North and Merrimack gets a break. The ball is moved back. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, big penalty going against the Titans. It's going to be first down and 20. They need to get to the 30 from the 50. Rolling to his right. Gavin Flynn pressure hit as he throws. It's completed to Rosario, but he got maybe only two or three. It was just all kinds of defensive pressure again by the, the Merrimack uh, yeah, front line. Go. Forcing Flynn to roll out as you see him do that in wow. a short pass. Yeah. Just no time for either quarterback. Goss kind of ahead of the fun. Panthers, seven to nothing. Yeah. Six nothing. Bedford leads BG in the battle of those two rivals. Flynn's pass is batted to the ground. Yep. And as we said, once again, no time for anyone. Uh, excuse me. Uh, that's the, uh, is that the quarterback playing two ways or is number five? It is number five on the on the knockdown for the uh, Again, Tomahawks. We're watching all sorts of pressure. Yeah. Right? Nathan Sadia, S-A-D-I-A, -A, with that all, knockdown and near sack. All sorts of pressure. They've got to be happy with the defense oh. the way things yeah. are going right now. Just their offense cannot get out of its own way. Question is, out. Tom, I mean, can they come up with a fumble recovery or pick six? There's a pass down the sideline. It is. That's a great catch in the stands. Caught. Yeah. It is a completion down the right sideline. Completed to, was that Joshua Bozek, number eight? What a play, Tom, on, on the right side. It's uh, one of the best Watch offensive him reach plays of the night. This. Watch him reach. Another fourth down play, and he just reaches out and grabs it. Oh, it was perfectly placed where only he could catch it. Over the shoulder grab. The defender really hadn't turned around and locked in on the ball, and Flynn took advantage. So, Gain of 23, first and 10 at the 25. There you go. And the handoff up the middle, barreling his way forward. Uh, I bet that was Darius Smith, but I couldn't tell. It looked like Darius Smith. Yeah, Darius had size. the ball wrapped up with yeah, both see, arms, as you yeah, can see. see. Smith is, is, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about that. No in a huddle. Second. Yeah. second and four for the Titans. And I'll tell you why. It's Handoff no again. Oh, this is Rosario who's using those legs to plow forward, and he's very close to a first down. I'll tell you why it's no huddle. North senses that Merrimack's defense is gassed because they've been on the field so much. Great you call. huddle, you give them a break. Great call. Yep. You know as huddle. good as this defense has been, they've you, been out there they've all been out there night all so far. Night yep. long. So a lot that's of three why. And outs for the offense. Safety. Face mask called against the Tomahawks. Face mask on Merrimack. Face mask against the Tomahawks. So 
things get worse. They're gassed and they're committing penalties now, and that moves the chains. So it's going to be, can they get the first down? Or are they going to say goal to go? They are going to say goal to go. They drop the, From the ten. Uh, chain. Yep, and there's Darius Smith. Bounces off a few tacklers, makes his way down towards the five. And this is taking advantage of the uh, Merrimack defenders as well, Tom, on the run. Well, here it is. They got, got to run away back. from 70 or you to run right at him and hope somebody gets him out of the way. And then they get it right to Smith. That's a hit at the line, but just keeps going. He's alone. He actually ran into his own teammate there, Tyler Madera, or else he might have went in. That one, another short gain. Uh, Merrimack defense reaching down for something extra. Of course, they had that great stop on the one-yard line at the beginning of the game to prevent North from getting that first touchdown earlier. Can they come up with another stop here with 3.07 to yeah, go? There's a timeout time taken. Probably left. by Merrimack, I would think. Oh, uh, official timeout. Time players out. down. Yep, cramp. Yeah. Cramp, we're going to see it. We, we did okay. not. There was a game two years ago, John, that we did, we did not do it here. Uh, it was the opening night for South against Salem two years ago. And two or three years ago. And... It was a <laughs> big cramp situation. Oh, constant? South had constant cramp. Yeah. It was night it was the twenty one season, so it was two years ago. And South we did not do the game and South just cramped up completely. They had I mean and it, and it affected the game because Scott Knight had to put his, his second team in because he lost that many kids. Wow. So, let's see, third and five, ball is on the five. Third down and goal Just inside it, actually. It's more like third and four. Goal to go. Yeah, you can see the ball is basically spotted on the four-yard line. So they have to go for it on third or fourth down. Or maybe we'll see our first field goal attempt of the night. No, I think they're, no. gonna, I think they're going for no it. Field goal I think it's just two-down territory. Handoff is to Smith. Smith. He's hit at the ankles. He's still on his feet. Smith didn't get driven in. to the ground at about the two. Didn't I, get in. It's hard to see why uh, he wasn't well, able to get through that crowd. He had the bounce over. Now there's the surge, right? His surge right there. But you know why? He got hit straight up. So he didn't bend down. He got knocked and he went straight up, John, instead of bending down and using the force of his body. I think that was number 34, Jack Thornton again with the big hit that kept Smith Fourth out. and one. And the handoff, and he is to the goal line and in. Touchdown! Darius Smith with the second touchdown of the game for the Nashua North Titans. And Tom, it was uh, basically a foregone conclusion. I think he was going to get the ball right here on this play. I think so, too. You know, he got the ball down in the first play early in the game inside the one. And wasn't able to get in, but this is wow, not as close. fresh a Merrimack defense yeah. as it was. Gary yeah. Smith is new, you know, he'll get, you know, he'll develop more. You know, yeah. he's gotta you know, he's gotta use his upper body a little bit more and and, and push. But Merrimack, I, I gotta give them credit, but they are a tired defensive yeah. unit right now. And that, you know, they they're gonna look forward to halftime, that's for sure. Joshua Bozek's kick is up and it is good. A 17 to nothing lead, which includes two safeties. Two safeties, for the a, a touchdown defense. without the extra point as the two point conversion go, yeah. and then a seven, seven spot. So uh, Merrimack in a tough situation. And the thing is, you know, I've seen Merrimack win some really big games in this stadium and at home. But the thing is, I don't know if this offense can make up a 17-point deficit, which means they've got to get some points on defense. Yeah, I'm not seeing the weapons, Tom, to come back from this I mean, big of a hole. I got Brown, and that, that right now, that's all we've yeah. seen. You know, yeah. and, we, and, and that's what North knows, and they've surrounded him. Yes. So. Yeah, he's just not getting the blocking either to no. set up and throw and. So I don't know if they have another quarterback besides Mujawar that's got a big arm, but uh, they got they, a big they, hole to climb he was, out. There was a competition in camp, from what I understand, but, but
But Mujawar was, was, he was, he was the guy that everybody was pointing to. So a 17 to nothing lead for the Titans with 2.15 to go. And Merrimack's got to be hoping for their best field position after this kick, maybe. They've only been able to get first and 10 from their own 22 to start a drive. Certainly haven't even got a sniff of Titans territory through uh, the first uh, 20 minutes of this one. Well, they need a big play. You know, they need a big play to get themselves yeah. going a little bit and get some momentum. Kickoff return for touchdown would be uh, bad. That, that's what they'd look for, yeah. you know. I mean, that's. I don't know if they have anybody back there to do it, but we'll see. If they've got somebody back there that can do that, then they should be touching the ball on offense. What that's do you think? right. Well, it would probably be, it would probably be Gavin, I mean, uh, Garen yeah. Brown, right? Nish. That ball is a short man. He's going to field it. Uh, fair catch, probably yep. a good play at the 29 or so. Yep. First and 10. First and 10. For and Merrimack. And here we go, right? Here we go. Here we go. Merrimax, you know, this is, this is just as big for North right now as it is Merrimack. They've got to keep Merrimack off the board yeah. for the momentum. And Merrimack is dying for points. You know, I would put my money on a defensive score rather than an offensive for score. Merrimack. For Merrimack. For Merrimack, right? Are you for, North, for, the, for North, I mean, yeah, I don't if know. anybody's going to score right now, I would expect the North defense, well, based on what they've done already so far in this half, the handoff is up the middle, and there was a whistle before the play really got rolling. Yeah. First, Offside. First That's going to make it tougher. So First game, stuff is just. Yeah. First and 15, and there's a player down for, is that? A Titan? Yes, it is. It's a blue shirt, dark shirt. Not good. Well, it's it's it's, it's exactly what we've seen, John. Uh, C R A M P. Um, I think it's another cramp, Tom. Which that's what you I know, said. It, it's it looks bad, but that's the good news. If we say it's a cramp, and if it is a cramp, that's something you can just recover from, given enough time. Nothing that's going to keep you out of the action yeah. for any extended period. And that's what, the just uh, getting used to uh, hydrating before the actual game conditions? They, there he South goes. thought it was on the kids that day, that they, that two years ago. That, you know, Tyler Madera, two-way lineman, jogging so, off the field. You know, and that's the thing. You got to hydrate. And but the year's yeah. so dry today. It wasn't a humid, hot day. So and it's Maybe. a little bit warmer than it was last night. Last night at this time, it was cold. They have the... Uh, Human so, hydrant out there. It's a, so what do we have? A flag? Noah Pastors that a, comes in for Madeira. We have a flag 66. On that play? What's that? On the flag? Oh, it was, a, a oh, it was just yards. offside. So offside, first and 15, right. Tomahawks hand it off, swallowed up just about in the backfield. And we've been seeing this kind of quality uh, penetration and defensive play from the Titans all night. Just They're just not getting moved off the ball up No, front. not at all. And uh, let me see. Let me give credit here to this defensive lineman. Taking on like three people and getting in the backfield of linebackers. Just excellent. So it's going to be second down and 13. Swallowed up. Uh, he got through. Oh, he got through. He slipped through a little nice. bit. Nice. That's what Garrett, you know, that's what Brown can yep. do. That was, uh, was that Garrett Brown? Brown. That was Brown, yep. Brown's so, a little undersized. He's small, but he's slippery. He can, he can make plays. Brown Some. slips through, so it makes it a more makeable third down play here. It sure it's does. It's going to be third I mean, that down was their, six. That was their best play from scrimmage on the night, it was, I thought. Believe it, was it, or yard, not. it was an eight-yard game. Yeah. Let's see uh, if third, they do throw it here. Third and six from just outside the 33. Big play for the Tomahawks with 109 to go in the half. Scoreless so far. Mujawar's pass is deflected, and it was right to the hands of Jack well, Krulikowski, but he was, couldn't hold on. There was your defensive score. There it was, Tom. Yep. And Krulikowski the will see this replay in his head tonight. He will need to well, watch National TV. But what does Mujahar do? What does he do there, right? He looks telegraphs that way. It. He telegraphed that play. May I say play. Nashua Telegraph? He yeah, telegraphed it. Telegraphed it. Yes. Yep, and here we go. All the way. Schmidt on the punt. And they got a punt. Matt Schmidt, who had a really nice punt earlier. He booted it from his own goal line. Right. Ended up at the uh, North 30. Let's see if he can that do it again. That was a more comfortable oh, play for him. 
It's fielded at the 30 and slipping a tackle, slipping two tackles is John Barry Jr. down the sideline. What a terrific play that by Barry about, Jr. It's about and a 25-yard return. Watch with, Barry Jr. Right, with, he gets the ball, doesn't waste any time, takes right off, and there's the missed tackle right there. You miss one tackle, you miss two tackles. Oh, didn't get to even three, tackle four. there. Well, they didn't get that close. Wow, good so, job and. Uh, turns uh, what would have been difficult field position into an yeah. advantage. And now with 51.6 seconds left. It's doable. You've got to complete a couple of passes yeah. there to get that downfield. You've got to throw the ball downfield. My guess is they may try to throw something sideline, you know, hook and ladder, not, you know, not a hook and ladder, but the, the beginnings of one. Yeah, they had know, Adrian Lazo open earlier in the game. Let's see if they try to go to him again. He's near side, far side, and they that's going to go nowhere to Rosario. They run it. I'm surprised they ran it. at that. 44 seconds to go. Yeah, and uh, let's huh. see, timeouts. Well, maybe they got spooked a little bit by that near pick six, Tom. Uh, Logan Day and him hit his hands there. and. Uh, well, maybe, John, if you throw the ball downfield. It's different. Yeah, you go down, just, straight down the field, right? It, just no, there's no pick six. You know, they, if they intercept it down there, chances are they're going to down it down there. Well, they took a shot on first down with the run. Maybe they'll put it up in the air now. Second down and 12, but the clock's rolling. They're making no effort to stop it. No. 13 seconds. This is probably the last play of the half, and it will be. They run, run it. it. They're going to run it. They're and gonna... uh, Rosario's tackled after a three or four-yard gain, and they're that is going to do it for the first half. Not going to take advantage of it. So yeah. they are going to go in. Not get they... greedy, as you would say, maybe. Well, I don't know. You know, it's I, I think with different personnel, maybe. You know, maybe, but it might have been, you know, plus they don't want to turn the ball over at midfield. Maybe that's it. Get comfortable 17 up. Knowing yep. Merrimack's offense has struggled. You know, the Tomahawks have struggled. You know, doing the best what they can. And yep. just, uh, it's early in the season. My guess is Merrimack's offense will look much better next week, especially versus Keene. So little. there's your score at the half, a 17 to nothing advantage uh, keyed by the great defense that North's put on the field to this point. Uh, making their presence known to begin the 2023 season with two safeties. They'll be able to talk about that for the rest of their life. We opened the season with two safeties, well, and we kept safeties, it going from is, there. Which is great. One yeah. play on defense, another play on special teams, yeah. and that's what we've got. So This uh, this schedule gets really tough. Uh, well, it's it's the division, too. I we mean, the don't. Uh, what we're seeing Oh, we don't now, know? No, what we're seeing now, <laughs> okay, from How's both, it translate? From both teams. Yeah. What we're seeing now, don't take this either side as an insult. We're not seeing championship caliber football right now. Right. You know, it's yeah. early in the season, yeah. you know. North they, will play at Exeter. They're always that's, good. Uh, right? That's going to be a tough one. And then they take on Mer Bishop Girton right here Merrimack, on the 16th. Merrimack will host uh, Keene in their home opener next week. So we are at halftime, yeah. John Collins. And we'll take that break. You're watching Nashua TV's Channel 22, the education station, Merrimack cable watching along with us as well we have a lot of friday night football in the nashua stations tonight bg at bedford on channel six and south at gosstown on channel 16. stay with us more exciting football all over the place on nashua etv the heroes cup is really good Good New Hampshire's bravest take on the state's finest in a baseball clash between police and fire personnel Saturday, September 9th at Delta Dental Stadium in Manchester. Admission is any donation at the gate to Special Olympics New Hampshire. The Heroes Cup is presented by the Attainable Savings Plan. I hope everybody else is having a good time. I certainly am, and I wish both teams the best. September 9th at Delta Dental Stadium in Manchester. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for your listening pleasure... Entering the field is the Nashua High School North Titans Marching Band under the direction of Kristen Olson. The assistant band director is Elizabeth Nault. Visual design is by Kerry Swift. The drill instructors are Kevin Swift and Elizabeth Nault. The drumline instructor is Liam Quinn. On the field, the Titans are directed by drum majors Eric McGinnis and Molly Sullivan. The Nashua North Marching Band presents its 2023 show, Time of the Titans, and includes 25 or 6 to 4, Time Warp, Good Riddance, and Times Like These. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Nashua North Titans marching band. <laughs>
Not completing high school is more of a social thing than it was an academic thing. Even though all these years have passed, I still had that longing to have my diploma. I have a mentor and she convinced me to continue my education. No one receives a diploma alone. If you're even considering getting your high school diploma, go get it. You can do it. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back, everybody, to second half action here at Stello's Stadium in Nashua as Matt Schmidt kicks off for the Merrimack Tomahawks into the Titans end zone for a touchback to begin things. Of course, uh, the Titans defense would like more of the same, Tom. They'll start on offense, but you got some really interesting numbers over well, the half. Well, I got two interesting numbers. Merrimack's offense total, and part of this is because of two, you know, two miscues on special teams because they are offensive plays because they still have possession of the ball. Minus 13 yards. Nashua. Minus 13 yards. Total offense right. for the first half and, for Merrimack. And Gavin Flynn, this couldn't have gone any better for him. He's 11-14 for 102 yards and a touchdown pass. Well, that snuck up on us. Yeah, no kidding, huh? 11-14 exactly. for 14 over 100, 100 yards for, passing. For 102. Pretty good half for a guy that's playing with the defense that the Titans are putting up here. And not only... Minus 13 yards total offense for Merrimack. Minus four points as they gave up two safeties. Speaking of good defense, though, Merrimack stringing that play out with a tackle right at the line of scrimmage on the far side. So it's going to be, is it third down already? No, second down. It's second. Second and just about 10 to go. College football season getting underway last night. High school season tonight. Well, that snuck up on me. That really did. Didn't I didn't realize there were that many college games last night. I decided to put them on the you know, I had to put them on the yeah. site. Handoff. He's gonna throw it's it. a halfback pass. Yep. He heaves it down the side, coming back to the ball, and incomplete. Well, a good job there to try to come back to the ball, but the pass did not have anything on it. Well, I'm watching we're watching the replay here, Tom. It looked like he never really had the handle on it. Now on let's the see it. He had all the time in the world to throw. Nice block there. And now I see the pressure. That's what did it. Oh yeah. And it was still a little bit underthrown on top of it. Good but pressure, the pressure by Merrimack. Was key. Again, Merrimack defense. Don't know who that was that was throwing it. Was it uh, Rosario or was it? Uh, I think it was 16. Oh, Barry Jr. Barry yeah, okay. Jr. That was heaving it downfield, trying to hit uh, Adrian Lazo. Yep. Even though Adrian came back toward the ball, it was a good well, five to ten yards short. I'll tell you what, they don't short. get a first down. Merrimack will have its best field position of the night. You would think so. Straight drop, under it's pressure, nice. Flynn shakes a tackler, throws it on the run, and is complete nice for a short gain. Nice catch, but yep. again, short by about two yards. And John not, Barry Jr. They're not going to go for it here. It's at the 28-yard line. Yeah, nice so it Flynn. was third and nine. It's going to be fourth and three. And uh, Merrimack's defense has earned some respect tonight. Titans are going to punt this thing, you would think, on uh, fourth and two and a half, three yards to go. Yeah, yesterday. I'd say fourth and they two right will. there. It's right at the 28-yard line. So they will punt the ball. Is this the first time? So the punting team is out this there. The first, is this, this is the first punt tonight, isn't it, for them? I think Darius punted earlier. Yeah, that's, he did. No, you're yeah. right. Darius did punt earlier. Yep, yeah. you're right. Let's see if he gets uh, a decent one away here. Tomahawks back to receive at their own 40. Yeah. That would be excellent field Let position. And delay whistle. Game. Let's see. Merrimack's already clapping, so that means the penalty is going to be Oh, boy, this is going to improve the Titans. Yep. I mean, uh, Tomahawk's yep. chances for good field position here. Fourth and seven now at the 23. So they will have Fourth to. and seven, and as Tom said, from the 23-yard line, now the up man, the receiver for... Uh, the Tomahawks moves up to his own 45-yard line, so even a fair catch there would be great for Merrimack. That's short. That's going to come down near midfield. A good bounce for the Titans and a roll, but great field position for the Tomahawks for a change. Yep, they'll take it. marked at the 46. They'll take it at the 46. We get to see Merrimack maybe start to open up a little on offense here at the 46-yard line, their best field position of the night, trailing 17-0. 
At the start of the game, Tom was mentioning that their multi-purpose back, Garen Brown, would get a lot of touches. And he has. Get, and he has. And but, if they have but, any chance of coming back, he's going to have to get a lot well, that's more. That's just it. The problem is everybody knows he's going to touch the ball yeah. and, and North's all over. He is number eight. He's the eye back in this offense, and he gets the handoff. He cuts it back toward the middle, and he gets escorted to the turf after a short gain on the play. It's going to be second you know, down and seven. I mean, give him three yards. I mean, you look at Merrimack. Right? They got some size, John. Right? Yeah. Tomahawks have some size. And in my mind. They should be moving the ball better? Yeah, I think. I and think, protecting I, better? I, I, you know, I think they should just pound it and try it. I mean, yeah, they do look they, some big boys got, up front. They've got some big guys. I you mean, know, look, definitely 200 plus pounders. Kip right Jackson there. must have had some good weight room response in the <laughs> off season. See the need to see more results. See yeah, I see Colby yeah. Smith, number 60. See the grocery bills. Three. On some of those kids, huh? <laughs> to feed them. Uh, number 55 is Kareem El Faka, F A K I H. And I am missing uh, a program. Oh, here it is. Sorry. 55, 70. 70 is uh, could not Zachariah Rezoe. Yeah, Rezoe. I could not pronounce that Rezoe. name. Here we go. Wide side. And swallowed up in the backfield. No yep. protection for the ball carrier again. Garen Brown is thrown for a loss on the play. You know, again, I, I Yeah, I'm nothing just, there. But the thing is, is what, you know, what were they doing? They were Another cramp or, yeah, or they were, hopefully well, not let's worse. let's see. Yeah, those cramps can be painful, and that looks like he's in a lot of pain, so that's what you're hoping. Yeah, they're working on the knee and they're moving it back and forth. Well, the hope. bigger the muscles, the more those cramps hurt, so yep. you see the pain. And uh, we'll have a timeout, official injury timeout right now. It's, um, it's not the type of player you can just pick up and carry off the field. No, but the way they're moving him... Yeah, they, they're, stretching they're stretching them out. They're stretching them out. They're definitely yeah. cramping. Yeah, which is if he was injured, they wouldn't do that, of no, course. They like would, move, they would not injury. move the limb. No, right. they would not do that. So both teams have a chance to huddle on the sidelines, and I don't know what you say in that Merrimack offensive huddle, Tom, at well, this point. I, again, uh, you know, that play right there, trying to go to the wide side. They're big up front. I, I would just push. You know, push Make straight holes ahead. up the middle. Try it. Try it. Try it. Yeah. Try it. You know. But how about the front people for the Titans? Try I mean, it because here's what you can do: if they get enough on that, yeah. then their quarterback can do. You know, you, you know, Sahir can, can do some play action. Right? Tell you what, Melvin Sa Fernandez Sa is a force up front there, Sa number sixty-one. Sahir can do some play action, and, yeah. and that would really freeze the defense. And another heavy pressure on the quarterback. They're chasing him down. He gets the pass away and a heavy hit on the far sideline. An exclamation point finish uh, to the hit, defensive heavy stop. Heavy hit a player down. Oh. Hope he's okay. Here's the play. Let's see that hit. So here being chased from behind in the pass. And there's the hit. It was it looked like, was it Brown? It looked like it was Brown. Yeah. But a heavy hit, upper body. Kind of a size mismatch, too, for the receiver. Oh, yeah, so no doubt about it. Down on the far side. and Yep. Looked like a clean hit, though, Tom. It was. It looked clean. It was upper body, to upper shoulder back. to upper back. Yeah. But he, it, this is no cramp. Knocked the wind right out of him, yeah, probably. Yeah, this is no cramp. Yeah. So, unfortunate for Merrimack there. No one wants to see anybody get hurt. Uh even after a big hit like that, your hope is the player will pop right back to his feet. No head contact and play on. We have offsetting unsportsman likes. I don't see anything unsportsman like first that play, but first down had again. to be words. Let's see. I saw an indication of a first down indication from the head referee there. We'll have to wait. Fifteen yard penalty against the Titans. Hmm. That would be on the hit, you would think. Was right? it on the hit? Uns uh, unnecessary it's, roughness. I, I didn't see I didn't see a flag thrown. I did not either. Was there on the far sideline? As soon flag? as the hit was made? 
As soon as he oh. hit him, so the, the so the call is on the hit. Okay, it was. Yep, going to be a 15-yarder, and it's going to be a first down for Merrimack. Huh. So the Hawks, Tomahawks get a break, and they've got a first and 10. And we're, you know, we'll take a look at that play again if we can see it. There it is. All right. Pass is left, go, and there's the hit. I, I, I don't see anything. Geez, I, 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 you know, I do I, not. I, the, I, hit, I the hitter was made by Luke Peters. Yeah, by Luke Peters. I didn't, and he had his arm down by his side. Yeah, I, didn't see, made, I didn't see anything there. Saw except zero a, on except that. a hard hit. You yeah, know? So, shoulder to shoulder, right. back shoulder. But there's a short gain on first down. So a gift for the Tomahawks, really, that personal foul call keeps the drive alive here. Their hopes for a first score. Trailing 17 to nothing. I mean, any other game against Merrimack past years, you'd say they're not out of it, but we're just not seeing a lot yeah. of the I separators, not, the game see, changers. I did not see who That you would them. need to overcome a deficit like this, especially as well right. as the Titans defense has played. Right. So the quarterback... Sahil Mujawar, straight drop, it's blocked up in the air and not down. Another tremendous rush. Boy, just uh, a lot of penetration. Gavin Atkinson, defensive end just in the backfield. Just a lot of penetration. Yeah, let's you see know? if we can pick up Atkinson on this replay. Look at it here. Right all the in the face. Look at all the blue jerseys in that backfield. Yeah. Swarming the quarterback. Suffocation, no time to throw. And it's going to be third down and long here. And just... You expect, I mean, he's got to roll out, wouldn't you think, Tom? Try to sprint out of it because the dro straight drops are not not effective. Yeah, uh, he's got that ability to do it. Despite those big guys up front. He's got the ability to roll. I've seen him do it in practice. It's not going to be a pleasant offensive line uh, tape to watch in on Monday. Uh, There's a keeper up the middle. Good job by the quarterback to stay on his feet, stiff-arming his way to the 30. It's going to set up fourth and Could short. Could not get that separation. Yeah. It was kind of a choppy run, but. That was Brown on the carry. That was he Brown. Did a wildcat play. Wildcat straight yep. to Garen Brown. So that seemed to be kind of effective. They might actually go back to it here on fourth down. We'll have to see. Not a big back at all at number eight, Garen Brown. But as Tom uh, used the word slippery, uh, that is what he needs to work to his advantage. Fourth and three at the 31. You know they've got to be going for it. They're not the going loudest to that the Titans crowd's been tonight as wow. they pound the bleachers here on fourth and short. Straight snap to Mujawar, and he is driven out of bounds. Gang tackled on fourth down. There was nothing there on the near sideline. This defense continues to impress. Again. Here's the rollout play. Yeah, watch. He rolls out. The defense rolls with him. But they close it right at the 31. See, they close it right there. No blocking. No one there. He's on his own. On his own. Yeah. Not a blocker to be yep. seen. And no. four blue jerseys to greet him on the sideline. So first and 10 for the Titans. But what was the play that got him the yards, right? Push. Push. Straight ahead. Push. With Brown, I just think that's uh, that's I think so wrong right, what you said. I think you know? right now that's what they're good at. Yeah. All right. You know that push made, and let Brown like made, slip his yeah, way through the crack. That may right? change Up later the on. But the here, but there's another factor there too, though. So there's a keeper by Gavin Flynn, and he doesn't find no, any room no. to run on his. The, the fact the factor there is the factor is you're down 17, so you really can't run that kind of offense, right? right. You need big plays. You I'll tell you what, Tom. Ground and pound isn't going to give you big plays, and if it does, it's going to chew up a lot of clock. Jack Thornton, number 34, is a... He is a player. He's an all-star. I mean, he is no just in on every it. tackle, yep. and he's blowing everything up. Uh, he actually just missed the tackle there and getting through the yeah, line. He, he, he actually over-penetrated, and yep. the Titans made some hay. As uh, kind of whiffed on that tackle. See who that of, was, uh, Karen. Number 16. Uh, Barry Jr., who's played yeah. pretty well. Looked like the um, kind of, what do they call that play? The receiver comes to the quarterback, takes it, and knifes through the line. He's able to evade Thornton and got a decent gain there on second down. So it's third down and four. Key play for the Titans here. They got stopped at this spot in the field in the last 
offensive series, and they had a punt. Third and four at the 38. And rolling left. Flynn's going to throw on the run. It is incomplete. Dropped. Right to the hands of John Barry Jr., and he couldn't secure it. That would have been a Titans first down. So with a 17-0 lead, fourth and four, they're going to send the punting team out there again and let their defense go back to work. 6.28 to go, third quarter here at Stellos. John Collins along with Tom King. Nashua TV's season opening football game here for 2023 on channel 22. 22, the new education channel number. We've also got football games going. BG at Bedford on channel 6 and South at Gosstown on channel 16. Gosstown was up uh, at least 19 uh, to six, I think it was at the half. Not Goff's down in control of that game at halftime, and hopefully South can come oh, back. Oh, almost a block there. Good penetration by Merrimack, and a fumble on the punt. And, and a recovery the for the Titans. Wow. Here's the near block that Lots Tom was talking about. Right, there it is, but it still got off a good kick. And what happens? To, oh, just right through the hands. Yep. I think he looked up a second before he tried to catch it. So that is the game's first turnover. And uh, to say that Merrimack couldn't afford that is a huge understatement. Titans right back on offense. offense. At the 25, uh, just inside the 25. Merrimack's offense was minus 13, Tom pointed out at the start of the half. Do you think they've gained anything on that, or has it lost bit. more? A little bit. There's a handoff that goes nowhere in first down. And again, see who gets up off the bottom there for Tomahawks. Yeah. That was 63. Smith. 63. Three Great play tackle. by yep. Colby Smith in the middle. Stops the run at one yard, a one yard gain. Second down and nine. The Titans do have a pair of scores in this game. And they're looking to pound Smith if they can do it. And they play action. And the throw down the right side. The receiver was oh. facing the ball. The defender had his back to it, but it was underthrown. If the defender and it goes had turned around, it was an interception by the Tomahawks. I didn't see who that was on defense. I constantly say that on Sunday when I'm watching the NFL, too. Yeah. You know, they just, the quarterbacks just kind of... There's this player right here on the far corner. He's right near... Uh, Adrian Lazo was the receiver, and you're talking about the defender, too? Yeah. And that was... Um, Aiden Centrella on coverage, and they're yep. back at it. One-on-one -on -one near side. Let's see if they go back in the air at third and nine. They will. Flynn going to his left and swings it in, and all over the play were the Tomahawks. They were not fooled whatsoever. See if I can pick up who uh, made the good defensive stop here. Somebody read it perfectly. As John Barry Jr., that's like number eight that cuts back, and it was number 88, I believe. And they lost on that play. They lost five. Elijah Collier. Lost three yards. Players. Yeah. So fourth down and, and 12. long. 12 yards to go. Five minutes even left in the third quarter. Well, on around the 26, 27 yard line. Another four, pass play. 454. You're going to have to. You're not going to do yep. it. Probably not and they're going to talk about it. Don't have the game breaking type player that can just take it that we've seen so often. And so, run for a lot of yards right so, now. So, Tom, can we finished our FCBL season about, what, six weeks ago now? It feels like a long time ago. Well, it was... Uh, uh, you were on vacation. Yeah, in fact, I... well, I three and a half no, hour July 28th no, game. Yeah, but I, uh, that the, I last, did. the last home game was August uh, 6th. The 6th, yeah. Yeah, I missed that because, but, uh, I, I, missed that because I was in yeah. Worcester five straight days Worcester. for the Legion Regionals. Oh, right, right. With, hey, so with the National Legion team, I wanted to make led this, by Derek Finley. Derek Finley. I wanted to make this FCBL reference real quick. I've been tracking Babe Rice, Ben Rice, the former FCBL MVP. That uh, He's in the Somerset. He's in the New York Yankees organization. He is tearing it up he's a in uh, Double A. MVP? I think he was, wasn't he? I, I, or maybe the offensive hitting may, leader? 
Maybe. I mean, John's yeah. been 13 oh, seasons. Oh, I know. So but uh, I thought you might be tracking him because he's a yeah. Yankee. He's going to yeah. be he's going to be hitting homers into uh, right field in Yankee no, Stadium be, for the next be, 20 that, years. That'd so. be great. You know, uh, he is phenomenal. And be, uh, he should get the call. That'd be great up. because there's not anybody doing it for him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, um, yeah, I mean, check his stats. Uh, ben Rice, uh, double A, at least a triple A yeah, call. I've heard, I've heard of him. Yeah. I didn't realize he was with the SC. Oh, he's doing tremendous. Here's the fourth down play, John. And they're throwing deep down the middle, and it's double coverage. Oh it's God. knocked down. It's intercepted. A deflected it's, pass. They have a flag it's, that's it's flying. It's not gonna. It's not gonna remain. It's gonna be. Is it gonna ball. be? Uh, it's gonna be pass interference. Oh no, this is not the take. So we'll, pass uh, interference uh, over yeah. the top. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, wrong the replay. It's gonna go against is the that, Tomahawks. So the one replay I that know. I want to see. I know. <laughs> I was supposed to hit grab and I hit take. Uh, sorry. No, they're both the same, right? Grab and take, right? <laughs> I know, I know. I just. Uh, well, I need it, this first it, game. It looked like it too. looked like over the top on on the deflecting. It was the right idea oh, to boy. knock that pass down, yeah. but the referee thought it was contact, and that's a 15-yard penalty. So where the ball is marked is going to be determined the down, and I believe it'll still be fourth down. Let's I think see. it will. Like you said, it's not it's NFL not the, pass. It's, yeah, it's not at the spot of the foul. It is 15 yards from the line of scrimmage. I believe it's a 15 yard, or maybe it's a 10. I'm not sure. I Let's think, see. I think it is a 10. Should be 15. Oh, he's still going. It's the first down. All right. Big, big call right there. I was listening to Jason Roby. That serves me right. He said that it, he said it'd still be fourth down. <laughs> it's not. So there we go. P.I. Okay. Pass interference. North will look to cut. You know, we've still got four, four and a half to play here in the third quarter. North will look to try to capitalize. Flynn hands it off. Up the middle goes Rosario. Number 34 is tackled after a gain of, look like four. Gets it inside the 10. They'll mark it at the nine yard line. Six yard line, they say. Well, I don't know why it says six. Six to go for first down. Okay, so they can get the first down at about the three. Second and six play, another handoff. Going to his right, turning the corner. One man to beat, diving inside the five. And Devin Rosario yeah, that's may a have. Good, that's a good run by Rosario. Yeah. He's not looking to try to do anything except follow his blocks. Right. And he knows that Merrimack's defense is converting to, the, converting to that side. And there's not a lot of room, but he just keeps running. High snap. Flynn got it. Gets it down to Rosario, but he is going to be downed short of the goal line. So it's going to be... Oh, he still needs that. They still need a few inches to get that first down. Wow. It's not goal cool to go, that. folks. Yeah, the first down, the yard marker was. Yeah. Down. Oh, they got they the first it. down. They, it. Right. they did give it to him. So um, I had a timer official one time gave me a hard time for that phrase. They gave it to him. He said he earned it. <laughs> uh, and they earned it. That's so goal to go. That's somebody who's really And a fumble. It. Was it on the fumble on the play? The scramble. See, a mad scramble after. Uh, the uh, running back made contact, Darius Smith on the carry. Let's see the play. Hit, and the ball bounces oh, back. Oh, came out. Yeah. And How did they not get it? Uh, Merrimack, I mean, but there, was yep. a, there was a lineman that got it, saved the day for the Titans. Hand off to Rosario, and he's going to go nowhere. He bounces off. He's still on his feet, going to the right, nope. and stumbles down nice at about tackle. the three. Nice tackle by the Tomahawks right there. Get the number, it was, I uh, can't see it from here, 22, 21, 21. Nice tackle. Uh, they're going to say a loss of a yard. Yeah, it was yeah. a nice tackle, Tom. Pounding the turf actually with frustration after that one was Rosario. He had one Don't man blame to beat. Him. And, uh, yeah, Looked like one of the cornerbacks came fully, up to make the yeah, heat, he was uh, hit. His number he was, was uh, obscured, so couldn't get that tackle. But John, we just said it. 21. 21, thank you. 
James Markley. There you go. No, no, sorry. Uh, 21 for uh, Logan Day. Logan Day's made some lot of plays. Is in the backfield, hit and down. Oh, Merrimack swarming defense again. So the uh, looking looking for a spot to run. There's just like nothing there. Right. Tackle cleaning up on the play was Joshua that looked Ozog. Like Torres, Jonathan Torres on that play. I think it was number two. So they are back all the way. Fourth and ten. Yeah. This is just probably you want to go back, pass, and throw it in the end zone. Got to put the ball up. Yeah. Or if you have somebody wide open on the five, yep. let them run it in. Going to reset to two minutes. Clock's at 150 right now. There it is. Officials get the time right. And uh, we'll restart. Fourth down and ten. The clock. Low snap. Throwing deep to the right into the corner. And it is almost intercepted. Right, another great Batted play. Batted down. Same player. Number 21, it looked like. Just, yeah, he needed to put a little more yeah. height on that. Logan. It was intended for Adrian yeah. Logan, Logan Lazo. Day. Here it is. Uh, Logan Day makes the play. Look at this. Turn it around at the right time and knocks it away. Logan Perfect. Day, as you said. Uh, yeah. He's made two of them. He's made two good plays on this, on this situation. And you know what, John? I think Flynn could have run that in. I think he had no one around. And he would have been able to, to to get close. He would have gotten close. There was no one on that side. Let me look at it again, Tom. I, I, this Take is a the look. play, I believe. Take a look. All right. Oh, we you know what? All he had to do was run and fake the pass, and then he would have had he space. He probably would have had a lot of space. Yeah, if he I pump fake. I thought he could. Oh, and a hard and hit. Almost another safety. A hard hit. There's going to be so many defensive highlights to replay Boy. on Monday for this team. Straight drop. And, oh, he didn't even see him coming from the front side, number nine. Uh, Gatkinson. Gatkinson. Gavin Atkinson. Clock rolling, 1.10 to go in the third quarter, and Merrimack... A long way from pay turf in this one. Boy. Getting shut out at this point, 17 to nothing. And the straight drop and a throw over the middle. Incomplete. Pass intended for number 23 for the... Uh, Anthony Almonte. So it's going to be another tough punt in a moment here for the Tomahawks if they don't get uh, something... Decent here on third down. It's tough to say that maybe they should try a quick kick when you're down 17. I thought nothing, they should have done that earlier, earlier. in the game. Yeah, yeah, that was a play where I thought they could have done it earlier, a quick kick. But I guess 17 nothing down, you're seen as kind of just surrendering if you do a quick kick in this situation. One minute to go in the third quarter. Straight drop. No Bourgeois gets it away, and he overthrew the receiver. Well, he had to throw it fast, John. He had to, yeah. he had to unload it fast because the rush was all over him. He's got a nice arm. You can tell. Good touch on that ball. Threw it down the middle. The problem was is he had to let it go ASAP, and the yeah. receiver just could not get there in time. So on fourth down, Matt Schmidt, the Merrimack punter, will be back in a familiar spot for him this game with his <laughs> heels against the back Boy, of the end zone. Geez. Telling you. Poor guy. He was able to boot one from about his own goal line to the well, he'll have time 30 earlier, here. but that no time. time. Almost again. Yeah. Yep. And the Fair same catch. guy was in the backfield again. That was uh, Gavin Atkinson that nearly blocked it. And a Great field position again. And a fair catch. Titans. It almost wasn't a catch. He had to, to, to dive, dive forward for yep. it. Well, I almost misjudged the fly ball. 50, I was going to say, I looked at the clock, and I see 5.06. I go, no, we're not moving backwards, are we? <laughs> oh. 50.6 seconds left to play here in a what has been a little bit of a long third quarter. Well, there's been a lot of moving backwards in this game because of the defenses. 
And here is the Titans going up against the Merrimack defense again, seeing what they can do. Rosario plows into the pile, moves it a little bit, maybe three or four on first down on the left hash. It's been a scoreless second half. 17-0 was where we were after the first two periods as we have a half minute left to go here in quarter number three. Clock still rolling. We'll probably get one more play before the end of the quarter for the Titans who are in no rush. Handoff, Rosario, no, he keeps it. Flynn looking to pass, puts it under his arm, gets hit in the behind the line of scrimmage and downed. And uh, well, I, I'm going to replay it because it's the last play of the quarter, but this is just more of the same from well, this Merrimack a good tackle. defense. This Merrimack defense playing very well. It's you know a little bit rejuvenated from the fact that it had the halftime break, and there's a hard hit right there. I, I, if I'm north, I do it. But what I said Merrimack should do, I start pounding the ball. I start yeah. giving it to Smith and let, letting Merrimack just get tired. You know, and if I'm Merrimack, they, they don't have time now to do the straight-ahead offense. Yeah. They're going to have to get fancy and throw the football. Yeah, if nobody scores any more points, that's fine with yeah, North. Exactly. It's a shutout win. Yep. It stays the way it is now. So let's see. We got, uh, we got the game on over on the other TV there? Yes, we do. Well, let me go check it out, John. Okay. Well, as I watch, John Canaway uh, was warming up on the sidelines for the Titans. He is a junior quarterback, number seven. May, we may see him in the game. 25 to 6, Goffstown leads south in the third quarter. So the Grizzlies, right? Goffstown Grizzlies? They're uh, in Canada. Yeah, this is one. a big night for them. This is their opening of their, their grand opening of their, 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 you know, basically renovated stadium. It was all, you know, grass field, no lights. Now they have mm -hmm. a turf field, field turf field, and lights. Yes. So they have a nice fancy the grizzly yeah. gridiron has yep. been upgraded. Yep. So it has, and they have a facility, and they're enjoying it. And they're up twenty-five-six. Which you know who could use an upgrade, Tom, as a high school football program for their facilities? Yeah, Wyndham High School. <laughs> Wyndham High School. Tom was on a rant at halftime. Ooh, different quarterback here. And down, it's it is. I saw him warm up on the sidelines. Yes. John Canaway, the junior, yeah, Canaway got a good arm. Transfer from Bishop Gert. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. He's got the big arm, and so he, they threw it on first uh, down for his, uh, his first down in the game. That's fourth and long for the Titans, so they're going to probably go for it here with their junior quarterback out there looking for a play from the sideline. He's going to be looking to get somebody open. He's got two receivers who've seen some balls tonight, Adrian Lazo, number 41, and John Barry Jr. split to the left. Let's see if he looks to the wide side. Changing it up a little bit Yeah, the Titans. Canaway, a three-step drop, looking down the middle, fires over the head of the intended receiver. He had Jonathan Torres alone, but not what, able to get the ball down. Canaway has the can cannon away. <laughs> yes, he does. He's got an arm. Yeah, kind of just a little bit too much adrenaline behind that one, Tom. Yeah, I think, well, you know, he hasn't, you know, probably, I yeah. don't know how much work he's getting in practice with these receivers. Probably, you know, probably split in time. Well, just your basic overthrow there it was a well-designed offensive play. And it would have been interesting Harris to see Torres go for after the catch there if he could have. Zach Harris was talking to him. I mean, that's a more of a downfield arm than we've seen. Yeah, from although, either team. Although, well, Flynn yeah. has let it go a couple of times too. But, oh, yes, yeah, yeah. You know, but that is a cannon for an arm. And if they can work that out, boy, yeah. that passing attack could be really... We don't Something. have heights and weights here, but Canway does look a good bit over six feet. Yeah. Rolling to his right, throwing down the sideline to yeah. no one there. Mujawar has got to just get rid of it. Sahil Mujawar. Forced a lot of times to roll to get away from that immediate pressure that's been in his face all night from the Titans' front line. One of those players for the Titans jogging off there, number 66. Noah Pastor Zach. Do we have a timeout on the field? John, oh, we got a penalty. They're a, still in negative yard. They're still ooh, minus 11. Against the Titans. They're still minus 11 for the game. What's that pushing uh, motion there? Like this. Illegal sure use of hands, maybe? 
to see one of the, uh, maybe the linemen that got called with a, a gesture of supplication to the sideline, like, what did I do, says Melvin Fernandez. I don't understand that. So goes against the Titans, and it moves the chains big time for the Merrimack. Take First advantage and ten. of it. You know, they're going to try to. Yep. Pulling it down, Mujawar avoids Ooh, a hit tackle. and just barely gets back to close to yeah, the line. They of wanted to go for the big hit there. All they needed to do is running full speed to try to make that tackle. Yeah. All they needed to do was just contain, and Mujawar was able to dodge it and make, you know, and, you know, not much out of something, but at least he got back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, so he did go for the home run hit. So it's second and 10. Minus 11 yards for my stats. Wow, minus 11, and we are into the fourth quarter. Yeah. How about this North defense? Who's going to be coming for Mujoir again here on second down? Uh, he runs to the right, finds a little bit of an opening, and slides. It's a late slide, so there's no. Yeah, it's fun. a late slide, and I'm wondering, was there any other room that he could have gone to the right or to the left? I think there was. I mean, he just. I slid just right into the two guys in right front in of him. There. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know I wouldn't want to get by those two guys, but third and seven in, at the indecisive 49. about which way to cut. Ended up sliding right into the defenders. So gain of three, third and seven. As Tom said, it's going to be uh, mm. another pass play. Back, it's a screen, bubble oh, screen, yeah. and good run after the and catch down Darren the Brown. field I think that's to the twenty. He's to in. the 10. It is a touchdown for the go. Merrimack Tomahawks. There you go. Oh, that was a surprise as Garen Brown Let's got see. space, got loose. Was, and it, was it Brown? Let's see. I believe it was number eight. Yeah, single digit. Yep. And Brown just, oh, his eyes just lit up. Sure did. Look at him get the ball right in between two defenders. I think he heard us about the no, nobody on the field with separation speed. Right. As Garen it. Brown announces his presence late. Well, let, let me put it to you this way. They're not negative yardage anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have on that that yardage there? 49-yard touchdown. Oh, boy. 49-yard okay. play. Look at that. Are they going to get called for a delay of game here? They had a late substitution. The ball, the kick is up, and it is good. Matt Schmidt. So it is a, it's a ball game. 17-7. 7. 10.43 to go. If Garen Brown is the guy, you know, he's their guy. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. They were not able to keep him scoreless. Nope. And credit Merrimack for keeping plugging away on offense till they finally got them the, him the ball in space. Exactly. The one time that Garrett Brown was left really unchecked, he just turned it into a track meet down the far side. 17 to seven. And everything but a field goal in this game. And that's still possibility if Merrimack could score the next touchdown they'd be three down in the late stages of this one so Matt Schmidt goes from kicking the extra point to kicking off from his own 40 instead of from the 20 as he had to do twice after two safeties were called against the Tomahawks in the opening stage of the game low bouncer from Schmidt and it's off the hands of the re re up returning re man, and he picks it up and makes his way past the 30. Yeah, I think any time the ball is bounced and rolled and somebody just kind of bobbles it, the, the, the uh, defenders kind of freeze trying to see where the ball is going to go and see what direction is he going to take it. And they took advantage of that. But uh, nice play by, you know, I mean, Rougeoir has been under pressure all night. I mean, he was under pressure there with the screen. And it was it was a screen pass where he didn't have a whole lot of time to, to let it go. You know, no. he, he didn't go the defense into, into you know, backtrack and, and run it in. You know, this was a very quick pass to Brown. And Brown just raced. And uh, the... Uh the offense claims they were drawn offside. I could see, I think it was, uh, it was 
called against Melvin Fernandez. He was immediately pointing uh, like it was encroachment or contact by the defenders. Yep. But the officials didn't see it that way. Five yards goes against the Titans. First and 15 now. Fourth quarter, ten and a half minutes to go. The Titans do have a 10-point lead, but they're a little less comfortable now after that. That's for Cameron sure. Brown TD. That is for sure. Handoff up the middle. Looks like might be Rosario for short gain. They needed to get 15. They have maybe three. Second and 12. Riley Grady on the tackle for Merrimack. So Titans probably reluctant to throw it too much here. Wary of that big interception. Yeah, I would, be, I would feel that way. But they are going to throw it. And Canaway throws it. He hits his man on the run. And Rosario uh, has close to first down yeah, yardage. He's, he's out at the 40. Yeah, he's out at the 40. I think he's just a little bit short. Let's see, how, let's see where he goes. Okay, there's Rosario right there. Gets the ball to on the swing and then runs good tackle and uh, did he get the ball over that yard did he break a plane no it's stuck at the 41 40 yard so line. third and one yep. well executed swing pass there from yep. Canaway to Rosario under 10 minutes to go now Titans trying to keep control of the ball and the handoff very close to a first down for John Barry Jr. And the officials eyeball it and say first down, move the chains. Jason Roby, our friend, PA guy, enthusiastic and should be. That's a big first down because it means you take more time off the clock well, and more time you're away. You're nursing a ten point lead, so you and, and they've got a kicker who can kick a field goal. They do. We've so, seen right. pretty good boot Schmitt can, from Schmidt. Schmidt can boot it. So we'll have to wait and see what how they handle this but North's got to take time off that clock and they trust Canaway and they're gonna keeping Canaway it run it and didn't and have any swallow there. it up wow great defense yeah. again by Merrimack it was I, I thought it was an excellent run fake but Merrimack didn't buy it they uh able to right. track yeah. the ball well yep they did oh, that's that's Thornton again who just yep. was holding just his left got in position. the backfield you know yep. while everybody else was crunched up at the line right you got to run around the DN that right. takes time away from sure. turning it upfield. So it's second and ten on the far hash mark. Wow, the Merrimack just front line really bunching up there. Somebody jumped, and a big hit at the line. John Barry Jr. just nowhere to go. Let's see. There, I don't see any flag, do I? I thought it was a neutral zone infraction by the defense. No, nothing. Nope. Nothing there as Barry goes forward for about a yard or two. <clears throat> yeah. Against that defense, that's about all you're going to get up the middle right now. They, yeah. they are a little bit energized after they scored. Third and eight. Let's see if that, that big arm from John Canaway can make an impact here on third and long. In the shotgun, Canaway, two-step drop, oh, swings it open. out over the head. Wide and, open. And, you know, swing yeah. pass. Now, now, granted, there were players coming up to try to make the Yeah, tackle. and he had to throw tackle. it over them. But he, you know, just uh, wasn't able to connect. Number 63, Tom, is the player he had to throw it over. And uh, I had to say he's probably about six foot two yeah. is Colby Smith, who was in the backfield and disrupted had that made pass. that catch. And that stops the clock at 8 yeah, If he had made the catch, the player that we've been talking about all night, Jack Thornton, was coming up to try to make the tackle. Yes. He would have been there probably around the 46-yard line, if you, and I would trust Thornton to wrap him up. Right. So punting situation for the Titans. And a timeout here. And a key drive about to happen oh, for Merrimack. First, they have to secure the, the ball. I thought the, red, the side judge was coming over, waving his arms. I thought he was going to stop the play. But yeah. He allows Merrimack him. would love to block this, of course. Another disruption before the snap. And we reset. Snap. And the kick by Darius Smith. The high fair in the catch. air. Fair catch called for. And secured at the 25, 26 yard line. First and 10 for Merrimack. Long way to go to tighten this thing up. That's a good punt by Smith. 
You know, again, a lot of good hang time, allowed his yeah. defense to get down there, and a good cat decision to fair catch it. Unreturnable? Yeah, definitely unreturnable. John, where is that smoke coming from on the opposite side? Are they... It almost off? looks like barbecue smoke. I uh, don't know. I, no, uh, we'd smell it. I think it would be <laughs> even way over here. But it's, is that fog? That's no, that's not fog. That's smoke. Oh. I'll have to call my buddies to come over here with the, uh, yeah, no, the engine, right. engine, mutual aid engine. No, you don't want to do that, John, because <laughs> then we'll be here for a long time. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah. I was at uh, up at the uh, Gloria Estefan play in the gun quit since the last time I saw you. We yeah. had a fire drill. We had a fire alarm during the play. Oh, no. 45, 45 minute delay. Oh, no. Yeah. Stop those feet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> On your feet. There was the production. Yep. There's a swing pass. It's complete. Near sideline and out of bounds. And that could be uh, on borderline late hit there. No flag. Garen Brown with the completion and very close to first down. Second and eight. So it's the Garen Brown show suddenly for the Merrimack offense. And it needs to be. Yep. Down by 17. Now down by 10. Flag before the snap. And uh, off against the defense, lining neutral, up in the neutral zone, zone I guess. Line, bad lining up. Which Might is, have been the near D end, uh, number know, which, nine. Which is all, you know, that's, that's all. Uh, Gavin Atkinson might yeah. have just put his foot, uh, his yeah. hand down on the wrong just spot. Rep, that's just, you know, first down. that's just an early season mistake. That's all. Opening night mistake. And a first down for the Tomahawks. First and 10. 38-yard line. And straight drop. Hennessy Ooh. throws it. That ball is live, I believe. Yep, yes, it, it is. did. They marked it. It is live. They marked it. It's not an incomplete pass. Oh, so huge hit, Tom. Let's see if his arm is going forward at all. Smith with the hit. I thought his arm was going forward. I thought they could have called an incomplete pass there. They so do, do they get to challenge that, Tom? No, no not in high no, school at all? No, no. Who's gonna, what replay are they going to look at, John? Ours? <laughs> no, they don't even, like, they can't even say, we hey, gonna, can you confer call, with that? Could have called Concord up the NHL? <laughs> is that what we're going to do? They don't do? have any conferences to get together and say, do you see it differently? They don't do that. One guy makes the call. So second and 23 for the Tomahawks. And that's batted down. Darius Smith gets in there and just a great play. Darius Smith in the face of the quarterback. So it's going to be third down and 23. They're starting to track down possibly back to negative yardage. You never know. This keeps up. Oh, man. It's, good. Yeah, it's going to take away from that touchdown. That 49-yard touchdown. 49-yarder by Garen Brown. And put them at uh, 38 <laughs> yards total offense. Oh. And that's getting whittled yep. every play, going in the wrong direction. Well, 38, 8, 46, and they're at 33 right now. Clock stopped on the bat down by Smith, so it's 7.45 to go. Third and 23, heavy pressure yeah, again, and sacked. And is that Darius Smith again? Who is that? I think it is. I think it is, too. Oh, what a game he's having. He's just, ha he's just having his way is Darius Smith. Let's Who's see. blocking him? No well, one. Just blows through that on was the number, edge. That was number two. That was Torres. Was it? Yeah, that looked like Torres. That was number two. I don't see a 22 there. Must have came off. A lot of blitz. Oh, okay. Yep. And uh, Smith, Smith gets it away. It's going to come down near midfield. Fair catch at the 45-yard line. So now they're at 23 yards total offense. Let's see, was that a blitz? Let's see. Oh, here's two on this side. Oh, you're right. You're 22, right. 22, yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I watch. See, there's two right there. And I'm right. Oh, he go was celebrating. Yeah. Yep. He, I mean, you can't my, go. My you mistake. can't go either way if you come My mistake. Yo, you were because he yeah. was right there to make that play right. in case it happened. So Darius Smith. And that's what I heard about Darius Smith, is that was, that's what he was going to be doing. He was going to be a defensive force. I did not know if he was going to do much on offense. 
and he's carrying the ball. You know, they'll they'll give it to him. Canaway, Canaway. straight yep. drop, hits Adrian Lazo near side. Lazo, good run after the catch. Yep. First down. Well, somebody's uh, and in someone's pain hurt at right the end. there. That's oh. not a cramp, I don't think at all. Or is it? I hope not. Here's the replay. We'll keep an eye on number 61 trailing the play. Ooh, he got hit on the knee, Tom. That's yep. not a cramp. Not a cramp. Mm. Nope. Took a hit right on the Left kneecap. Yep. Kind of a blind, uh, the, the player that came up and, and hit him, uh, he never really saw that hit coming. Here's the play again. Yeah. The defense, the offensive lineman there, right there in the right of the ball carrier. And get hit. Yes, got, got took right out. And yep. that's a that's a knee that he already has a brace on, the left knee. So that would be a bad blow for Melvin Fernandez, who's such a Ooh, he had Fernandez such a good game. Fernandez is a good player. Oh, He's, defensively too, yep. monster. Fernandez is a very good yeah. player. That would be a huge loss for Nashua North. You know the only positive I can see in that is the player that hit him. It's probably not a 200-pounder, a smaller guy. Hopefully he can uh, call it out a player, to, a big guy to assist him. That's going to be uh, yep. Colin to try to, get him, to try to get him off the field and get yeah. him up. Unfortunate, unlucky oh, hit that tough. he took. He never tough. had a chance to see it coming. Never had a chance. Tough, tough play. Yeah. Not putting any pressure on that Not left at leg. all. Nope. They're going to take him right inside. This is not a sit down on the bench and take a look at it deal. This is going to be put right inside in the trainer's room where they can really take a look at it. And oh, the doctor gee. is also going. Yeah. In. Got a feel for Melvin Fernandez you right sure there. You sure do. 6.50 to go, 6.52 left. It is a first and 10 situation for the Titans after that first down play to Adrian Lazo. Handoff to Rosario, sprinting around the right side, trying to turn the corner. Ooh. Barely, maybe a yard. He turned the corner and paid for it. <laughs> Ouch. Again, Merrimack got good side-to-side -side speed. So Canaway is out there, and I'm thinking, okay, get him some work, but do we see Flynn anywhere on the sideline? Okay, good point. Uh, Flynn, of course, wears number, number four. four. And um, so, he, or is he, he out there in, in front of position? the uh, maybe in front of that young man with the powder blue t shirt? And he doesn't have his helmet on. Yes, there he is. There he is. Yeah. Good eyes, John. Yep. So he's healthy enough to be out there. And so he's standing he does not have his helmet on, though. That's a good point. Right. Yeah. Dar yeah. Darius yep. Smith. Maybe he did take a head hit or something. Uh, yeah. Yep. Canaway certainly looks able in the in the backup role. So uh, somebody took a timeout. I believe it was the Tomahawks. Third down and 10 play upcoming here yeah, with 549 not, to go. It's not 10. That's not right. It's Look at the third down marker. It's about a, a, a yard or two beyond the, the stick. So it's, third and it's nine. Third and nine. Yeah. Eight and a half. 39 to six. 39 to six. It gets worse for the Panthers on the road against Gostown as they're having a party in their new facility. And that's what they are. To open the season. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and believe me, the team that did not win a game last year for Gosstown wow. was non-competitive. Yeah. Not very competitive. I mean, you know, Alvin beat them. You know, in that last game, that extra game they tack on to the schedule where they seed the teams that didn't make the playoffs and have them play. Uh-huh. Have them play, for you know, uh, on the same week, on the same night as the opening night of the playoffs. They play a regular season game. It doesn't count for you know any you know yeah. no playoff implications. 
And Alvin won that game, I believe, 55 they did. to yeah. 36 the, the or something. The battle of the have-nots. Yeah, exactly. Canaway's going to put it up and yeah. over everybody. Canaway's got a great arm. The yeah. problem is needs to harness it. No one can catch up to it because it's, it's that good of an arm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. You need somebody with 4-3 speed to yep, get that exactly. one. And uh, that's a punting, uh, punting team coming out here. So... It's not out of the realm of, Im it's not impossible that Merrimack could come back. I like this points. decision. You do, huh? Yes. What are they going to do? Are they going to pooch it? Yeah, I mean, they pin, Corner, pin, coffin, corner, Tom. 545 left, pin Merrimack back, you yeah. know, and, and maybe get your, de your defense is playing you so the, well, you know. The, I don't think young people even have heard the, coffin, the term they coffin, coffin know, corner. They don't even know what that means. Oh, was it Ray, Ray Guy could do it? A lot of punters could A lot of punters back, back then. It was the goal. They yeah. hit it right into the corner yep. uh, before the end zone. That's not yeah, going to do it. That's not going to do it. No. In fact, it's going to go in the end zone. That's not what you want to do. You want to punch If you're going to kick side. it in the end zone, might as well try to angle it for the cone and that's get the coffin right. corner. Exactly. It's right there for you. Exactly. It's right there. Yes. I can't believe it. <laughs> you know, then, when instead I you hit a line drive up the middle. You know, <laughs> when I, we had foot nerf balls, and we we used to have the rule where you could declare a throw a kick. Yeah. So on fourth down, we'd throw it. Like you'd throw it like right out on the five or the one easily. Oh yeah. A lot easier you'd than throw you kick it. And kick it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But uh, I don't know. You probably could have. If somebody just said to him, "Hey, we want you to angle it to the corner," he, you know, it's a 50-50 right. ball. So first and ten, that screen pass over the middle, and that same thing that went for a touchdown yeah, goes that nowhere. Time, yeah, that time they had it covered. Yeah. Yep. Jack Krulikowski with the tackle at his linebacker position. Said, ah, uh -uh, not this time, Gary Brown. No 49-yard touchdown jaunt. Loss on the play. Brown would have been better off just to bat it down. It's second and 13. 5.08, clock is rolling towards the finish. A very pleasant September 1st here at Stello's. Handoff up the middle and nothing much there. A solid textbook tackle by Darius Smith in the backfield again. He is a read and react and just ruin your offense defender, Darius Smith. Number 22. Like Flutie's saying, yeah, 22, just like I would do it. <laughs> and Willie put it up. Rolling to his left. He's going to actually pitch the lateral. And Brown is tackled after a gain of maybe four or five. Yeah, an option play. Yes. Option play, and they go to Brown. Eight. Brown on the carry. Fourth and six, and Merrimack forced to go for it down ten with exactly four minutes left. <sighs> Game just winding its way slowly down. There's been one score in the second half, belongs to the Tomahawks. That's tough, bro. Swing pass and uh, cutting it up. Brown's taken down at the 25. Five yards short of the yeah, line. Yeah, he cut it inside. I thought maybe if he cut it to the left, to the right, he might have been able to get around. This is his only chance, really. Yeah, but exactly. Great defense again by the Titans, and it may be the last play they need to make, depending if they can hold on to the ball here for the last three and a half minutes. The only really dark cloud on this one for the Titans is the Injury to Melvin Fernandez, Melvin Fernandez in the fourth not, quarter. That did not look good. No. Canaway hands it off. Rosario met in the backfield trying to wrestle his way free. Instead, he gets wrestled to the turf. Winning the battle was number 66 for the uh, Tomahawks. Nicholas Frankie. He's been in a lot of tackles tonight and Certainly, uh, the Merrimack defense has nothing to hang their head about after being basically on the field for three quarters of the game, at least, and acquitting themselves very nicely, making it tough going for the Titans offense. It's had great field position all night. 
Canaway hands it off. Hell, he keeps it. And Canaway around the end is whipped down to the ground by a host of Merrimack tacklers. They do give him forward progress. It'll be third down and about eighth. From a distance up here, he's big, he's tall. Doesn't look, yeah. doesn't look big, big upper body. No. But rangy. Long, long legs. Long legs. He didn't take him long to get to that spot. No. His legs. And uh, it also helps him um, yep. launch those passes down the field. He's right. So he gets down. Merrimack calls another he's a junior. As Tom said he's a transfer, John Canaway. From BG. From BG. Yep. Getting some playing time here in this one as uh, starter Gavin Flynn had his helmet off and, and watching I from the sidelines. Don't know the reason for the yeah, transfer, right? but it was very quick. Mm -hmm. uh, about three weeks ago, I guess. Oh. It wasn't long, so don't know why, but okay. transferred over. Michael McDonough is the BG quarterback. Um, we, of course, uh, we know Michael McDonough because we yep. know his father. We've worked with his and father. And Rich Well. And Rich Well, so... So, Canaway calling signals here on third and long. Sprinting to his left, looking to pass, throws on the run, and all by himself for the touchdown, Adrian Lazo. And it is a dagger as the Titans take a 23, basically blown coverage, Tom. I don't know if they didn't yeah, expect see. the pass. Yeah, we don't know who was, who were the two defenders that are 10 yards up. The only Lazo, danger there yeah. is that Lazo was going to backpedal out of the uh, end zone before he caught the ball, yeah, but exactly. he was well yeah. inbound. So yeah. a great pass from John Canaway. And it is a 23-7 Titans lead with 2.48 remaining. Joshua Bozek lining up his kick. Low snap is handled, and it, it is good. Just got it over the bar. Nice job there on the low snap by Dylan Noble. Sophomore quarterback and uh, cornerback doing the holding on the kicks. Yep. 24 to 7. 2.48 to go. Tough night for the Merrimack offense. Just that one yeah. great play that we saw. They've got it in them. Tom, that quarterfinal loss to Bedford last year, that was here, right? At For Stellos? North, we did the game here. We yeah. did the game, yeah. So, of course. Very, uh, I mean, and the North, North had the ball on the, like, the uh, you know, two yard line or one yard line. They couldn't get it in. That's you know? right. Yeah, 9 0 season ended there. That was huge. Yeah, by the best defense, high school defense that I've ever seen. There you go. That's yeah. what it took. Right. Merrimack thought they had a shot at them, and they almost did. They made a couple of bad plays and yeah. and uh, lost to Bedford in the in the next round. But uh, the Bulldogs were just that on defense, and that's what got them their state championship. Yeah. Don't forget, they were a 10th seed. 13 wow. teams make the playoffs. Yeah, they Bedford put it was, together, didn't they? Bedford was good. They were 6-3 and three regular season. Yeah. But they had lost late in the year. You know, they had lost a, a game that wasn't, uh, I forget who they lost to, but it wasn't very close. And, you know, you, you watched out for their defense. That was the one thing that you looked at Bedford for. And we got another player down. Let's see what uh, this is all about. Gavin Atkinson. Yeah, it's a Tomahawk. This is a Merrimack player this yeah. time with 2.42 remaining. We don't need any more. Kid's getting is hurt. Is it? Is it a... Uh, I think so. I... Yeah, he's just... Uh, the white on his jersey is kind of overshadowed by the trainer. Yeah. Merrimack TV, our media partner, watching this one with concern added now as one of their players is down. 
Channel 22, your education station here in Nashville, carrying I'm, our season opener. And we're I'm also curious about the BG Bedford game. I'm yeah, not BG sure what Bedford. That uh, is. Speak of the Bulldogs. Yeah. Who are on Channel 6. <laughs> 7 p.m. start over there. So the watch the play. Uh, watch the flip. Right? One up here on the side. Yeah. It is right here. Oh, there he is, yeah. Heavily, heavily banded, taped, taped right heavily hand. taped, so yeah. that's that's what happened, I would imagine. I think you're right. That's why he's not in the game, and that's why Canaway was, was put out there. He's just kind of testing it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Player's walking off under his own power. And looks like number seven. That's uh, Jonathan Sadia, Sadia, S A D I A. 242 okay. left in the football game. It is 24 to 7, as you see the score on your screen. And this has just been a tough night offensively for Merrimack, except for one big play. North defense all over the place. Ooh, almost took yeah. that snap. Shovel pass. But all over it there. Yeah, not much nope. there for Garen Brown again. And they were lucky they did complete that shovel pass. Yep. It's like a track meet every down. The, the Titans defense just gets in the backfield instantly. And here we go, second down and nine. Oof, boy. Clock rolling. It'll be under two minutes left to play when they snap this football. Sahil Mujawar. Shotgun snap, two-step drop, fires to his right, nice. complete on the run. Nice play. Garen Brown, who should be, I think, quadruple teamed at this point, Tom. Four guys on him every every time. He would if it was close. Yeah, I don't even know how they could complete it to him at this point, because you pretty much know who the ball's going to. But big, pretty big game there on second down, third and short. Third and two. Went out of bounds and uh, stopped the clock with 1.52 to go. Exactly, yeah. With one minute down, John I will go down on the field. And Ooh. the ball is... Penetration by North, boy. I tell you, oh, that boy. defense has just been... <laughs> that uh, is amazing. I mean, you don't have time for a handoff that was from Brown. That, was, Brown. that was Brown. He did not have even time for the handoff as he yeah. loses yards and loses three yards. Four yards back at the 29. Look at this. Is it working or do they take it out of your hands there, John Collins? Uh, here we go. Ah, too ah, late. Too late. Yep. 59, though, celebrating. We've got the, uh, yep. At least they got the number of that truck. Uh, Josiah Corfield getting some time. Picking up where the starters left off. Well, actually, he's, he's probably been in on earlier plays uh, as a senior. There's a jump pass. That's what would have been a yep. live ball. And... Brown is driven back oh. and down. Yeah, wow. he just could not get up ahead of steam and gets to the 32 on that. It's a running play, so yeah. it's uh, Wow, that was close boy, to being yeah, a fumble. Yeah. Luke Peters just cleaned up. Jack Krulikowski was in close pursuit, North too. North will take over. 59 seconds left. John Collins, I'm going to head down. All right. So, pleasure working with you again. I'll see you yep. uh, sometime down the road. Right? I hope so, yeah. yeah at the, least Friday, the North-South game. game. No, it'll be Jason with you. Okay. Uh, no, think for the BG Jason's Saturday game. <laughs> I mean, are you talking about next, next week, right? Next Friday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll be out of town. Another junket. Yeah. Well, actually, the, the wife's going with me this time, so... Not a junket. <laughs> Making points. All right. There we go. 50 seconds to go. And uh, both teams, I think, content to accept the result in this one. Uh, maybe a couple running plays will take us out. 40 seconds to go. Yeah, let's see. Maybe 
Yeah. Take a knee here. And they do. So that'll be the last play of the game as the clock ticks down under 30 seconds to go. And we, uh, our thoughts go to Melvin Fernandez and hope for a speedy recovery to him, whatever that injury may have been. A very impressive 24 to seven victory for the Nashua High North Titans to begin the season. Here on September 1st of 2023, John Collins along with Tom King and our executive producer Pete Johnson. We thank also Bruce Hillsmeyer on audio and Tim O'Neill, Dylan Smith on cameras. An excellent performance by the Nashua High North defense especially. Wow. And the Merrimack defense has nothing to hang their heads about really. Especially their talented uh, Lineman up front that uh, blew up so many offensive plays. They'll be heard from, I'm sure, as the season goes along. We see the sportsmanship like handshake. Good luck also to our other uh, coverage teams, Nashua High South and Bishop Girton. Whatever happens tonight. Thank you also to our Merrimack audience for joining us tonight on Nashua ETV's education station in Channel 22. Congratulations, Titans 24-7 winners in game one. Good night from Stellos Stadium, everybody.